The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome, everybody. Yes, indeed, <laughs> to the Whiskey Brothers podcast. Uh, we are your Whiskey Brothers for the thousandth time. For the thousandth yeah, 1, time. We are your Whiskey Brothers. That is an enormously large That's number. a lot of podcasting. We are in the studio. Look at everybody. Uh, the official Whiskey Brothers cast, Jerry Wayne Longmire across from me, Trey Tutson next to him. God These are going you, in ascending order for how long they've been here. Sam Damaris yeah. next to me. You guys <laughs> should swap. I don't know how this works. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not number of episodes. How long? <laughs> Longest yeah. period of time. We have special guests in the studio tonight. This is the thousandth episode, so we'd only do it a certain way. Uh, Adam Taylor running back a house, uh, wildly <laughs> overqualified to be doing that. And then over on the couch, do we want to tell him who's here? Does it matter? It's uh, okay. nah. We should wait. 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 Are you are you the Jackie Robinson of the podcast? Oh, I yeah. mean, not the podcast or the Whiskey oh, Brothers. The Whiskey Brothers, I think. Yeah, because I believe. Yeah, I think I was the first black guy. Yeah, outside uh, of you and Ashton and Sam. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to see and the bottom okay. half of Rob. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your soul. That's <laughs> <laughs> your black capitalist heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I get two for my liver then? Right. <laughs> That's why I raise a glass. Uh, Goodwill Loden brought a bottle oh, of yeah. Maker's Mark over to drop off to the podcast. He did not stick around. Yeah, He'll be doing stuff on our network uh, with silly hats. It's just uh, it's going to be a good night of uh, of stories. And then all you guys in the chat as we make the official pivot to YouTube, uh, we're going to give away. A thousand bucks tonight. It's like Starting we're just, now. Right now. Okay, you have been put in chart. Now you you know that. Oh, make sure oh, you're you make oh. sure you're not on the camera with Please your laptop. Please put these glasses on. Or that you are. Please. <laughs> it's tax season. It's tax season. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. If if the. T- <laughs> My calculations are correct. Boy, you you are messed up for that. <laughs> if, if your internet tabs are anything like your your phone notifications, I would not let that be on camera. Oh wait, that's a <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna find out he searches weirder shit than me. (laughs) 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 So uh, we are gonna get we're we're gonna get. So Sam has been in charge of. If you're a subscriber to us on YouTube, uh, we have cash, and we're giving it away tonight. We're gonna keep tabs of who wins, and we're gonna figure out how to get a hold of you. And then I guess we're gonna have some alternates for the ones who don't show up. And uh, everybody likes cash in their pocket. Sam's just gonna give a. Uh, so, w- what's the plan here? Here's the deal. Uh, uh, we said we're giving away $1,000. We are. Uh, none of you are walking away today with $1,000. Uh, because there's a lot of you. No. And we got a long episode here, so I, I figured we were breaking up. And I figured the fairest way to do that is uh, five of you are going to win $100 a piece. And then at the end of this, one of you is going to win five hundred dollars. Oh, we're that's still giving away a thousand. Yeah, okay. We're giving away a thousand dollars. I I'm thought this was going to be one of those guys' rent was due, and I had a situation. So tonight we're giving away a hundred dollars and a thank you to my landlord. <laughs> well, he got all hot and his glasses started fogging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> bro! You all, you know, you're worried when your eyebrows start sweating." What That's happened a- was <laughs> now I've got a question, uh-huh. uh, and I'll leave it to the three of you to decide. I could spin this wheel, and if you win the one hundred dollars, I have the option of removing you from the pool. Oh yeah, or no. Or do I just leave your fucking name in there and maybe you get lucky twice? No, no double dippers. Take them out. I don't care if you leave after you got money. You showed up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. I agree. I yeah. Agree. So we're gonna spend it. I'm gonna say what's up to everybody in the chat while we're doing it. No, not twenty dollars across the board, Adam. Not that one. Uh, the other one. Um, Bill Miller. You, uh, Bill Miller, is one of the original whiskey brother, along with uh, the other founder, the Right Reverend Robert L. Mungle, yeah. who uh, previously sitting in this seat for many, many, many episodes of Rest the podcast. Uh, we weren't going to talk about it, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> geez, you dark it, soul. I mean, we can he can we can use him on Ido. It's uh, <laughs> 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 he, can, he can be the next dead comedian. So. <laughs> That's awful. Uh, you guys, uh, Bill Miller, we say thank you. Uh, who would have thought that you you're basically the grandfather of a thousand year old child 
yeah. uh, or a thousand episode child. So, uh, Bill Miller, we raise our glass to you, our original founding father. Fuck, I didn't know we, we had another glass. glass. Um, <laughs> yeah, just keep pouring them up. So, Sam, who's winning some money here? All right, first person at the gate winning a hundred dollars. Here's the deal. Um, I'll even take. I'll take this on the chin. Uh, if your name gets called, you have uh, seven days to message me personally there you go. on Facebook or Instagram. I just need your name and your email address that is associated with your Venmo or your PayPal. And Sam said him or me. Uh, just message him. The uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said me. I said me. He said me. Just make it sure. <laughs> Dot the I's and the T's too. Let's see who's the first person to walk away with 100 Give it a <laughs> Right, pull that back. Don't let that be on camera, man. You don't want you want all Is the people. Camera? I don't know people. I don't know what you got on there. That's that would make me nervous. He's good. All right, let's see who wins. Hippie zero 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 zero. That's. Uh, I wonder if that's her given name. <laughs> She's South African. That's how you run from the fucking. Twenty twenty two. Hippie zero 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 zero. Uh, you're gonna pick up a hundred dollars. Put it in the chat and uh, hippie million is hippie what million. that looks out to. Uh, so hippie, hippie with six zeros. That works. Uh, yeah, find me on hippie Facebook million. or Instagram. Like Message that. me with your just. I need your PayPal, Venmo, and the email address or the handle that I'm sending the shit to. Perfect. And we're gonna run through. We're gonna pick some alternates too for some people who don't make it. We have we have some fan questions that uh. Frequently come in. I'm always. That's why I say message Sam. I'm you. You too. I think you're a recipient of a lot of messages yeah, uh, I because you. Instagram. So, the most frequently asked ones of all of the of all time. Uh, we've covered a little bit with our top five comics and things, mm -hmm. but it's always who is your hands down favorite, and then the other one that comes out a lot is what is your favorite Whiskey Brothers moment. Yeah. Of all time since you've been on the podcast, and that's a we can probably start with the comics. I could guess on a couple of you, but uh, yeah. all time living or dead, JW Richard Pryor. That would have been my guess, yeah. Richard Richard Pryor. Yeah, my uncle turned me on to. I didn't know. My uncle used to imitate Richard Pryor all the time and tell his stories like the wino and the drunk and the wino and Dracula and the polar bear with little feet and mm -hmm. mud bone and all that stuff. And it wasn't until I was a teenager I realized my uncle didn't write all that shit. <laughs> 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 when he gave me his album. And then but he it, still it, said the N-word just as much, right? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't hold back on his prior yeah, impression. He wrote that part. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he'd do a prior impression just so he could say the N-word. You know? Yeah, that, <laughs> there was a lot of that going around. That's fair. <laughs> Pryor's, Pryor's probably at the top of my, just because of the, the marriage of all the different elements I really like of comedy, the storytelling and the characters and the just the outlandish, everything. Yeah. Not give, he's the most honest human being. That. To it's ever the vulnerability. The he had the worst year of his life, and he came down on stage what? and just made it one of the best. I never chalk it up to vulnerability, I just which it is, and now yeah. the grown comic me does. But for the most part, I'm always just like, man, that motherfucker will say anything. That's usually how I I like those people. But who he took just the worst shit in his life. Absolutely, the, the catching on fire and his wife leaving him, going to jail, and and he, all of the above. He made it gold. And that's one a turn your phone down, Trey. That's ever walked the planet. Trey, you uh, somebody tell her again. I, mean, I know we live, and I know we're trying to do it. Turn your phone down. <laughs> you you like an auntie at church right now? <laughs> Are you drinking a monte? Are you drinking a motherfucking four loco? <laughs> <laughs> that better be a sprite. All right, oh, All right. True. that's a. Okay. So who's? I want to save you for last. I'm I'm prior, and I know you are. And if I had to guess, you're probably gonna ring in with Carlin. Bam. Yeah. Bam. That's, yeah. Okay. Look, man. I know prior is the goat. All right. I know he's better. Just Carlin hit with me so much more. I was. <clears throat> I found him. I was like 15, 16, and uh, to this day, I can. Like, I hear any Carlin bit. I can tell you where I was when I heard it. Right. Um, Ooh, okay. It's just that guy. Like, I'm, I'm the same way with Chappelle and Rock. Like, I know Chappelle's better. I don't have the connection to him that I have with Chris Rock. Well, that's just timing, but it's not about who's the GOAT. It's about who's your... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, my personal favorite. Your yeah, personal of course, favorite. it is George Carlin. George Carlin. Um, he was... Uh, like you said, Pryor was brutally honest, and you, you, you brought up the point that Pryor did... He was all over the board, whether it was impressions, whether it was characters and this, that, and the other. George Carlin was black T-shirt, black jeans. It was stripped down to nothing. And he was just going to come out there and wow you with it. And he could take anything. It wasn't about his life necessarily like Pryor did, like I blew myself up a smoking crack. But George Carlin could take the entire abortion debate 
and tell you his side of it oh, yeah. and floor you with it to where even if you were pro life, you still walked out of there going, That was a really good fucking show. You oh, know what conceptually I mean? he was better than most people. But don't forget he was also a hippy dippy weatherman oh, of course. and Thomas the Train. Until he went to jail with uh Lenny Bruce and when he got out of jail he was like, Yeah, fuck this, watch what I do now. Um but the beauty of it was he could do these these great just brilliant, brilliant social observations for like a 10 minute chunk. Take a sip of water, set it down, and go, Let's do some fart jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and he would do that. Like every special, he would just, he would do something where he just dipped off and talked about his dick for a couple minutes and then went back and went right back into fucking genius. I can't see Robert Mungle's head wherever he may be tonight, okay. but it popped. Oh, yeah. That's my thought. Was the craft talk made him implode? Oh, yeah. From the he end. lost more hair. <laughs> That's, they want the last one. The just eyebrows are gone. Jump like a yeah, nine ele- like a nine eleven hundred and tenth floor. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> two cents. Trita, will you? Sh- oh, somebody's still out there. Make sure that door shuts. Uh, Trey, you, uh, Mike. Let me get. I'm trying to guess everybody's. Okay. Lorel. Oh, that's really funny. No. That's hilarious. No. No. My uh, this is my personal absolute favorite. Uh-huh. My personal absolute favorite comic is Ali Sadiq. Ah, that's, um, that's yeah. very, that's very, he like very understandable. He he's the only person that like every time I watch him, he made me be like, this guy's like the best. Yeah, like every time I watch, he like reassures me like this dude is like the best. And uh, where he's pulling from now, of I I know y'all have y'all the goat is. I mean, we, it's not okay to say, but the the goat is Bill Cosby. I agree because every everybody I don't agree. Everybody's I, doing Cosby except everybody's for doing except Cosby. for Pryor. But that, that's really funny. <laughs> he's he's exactly doing Cosby. I, I, I understand. I understand <laughs> he's he straight from Cosby. <laughs> straight from Cosby. Second goat. The two specials, the two greatest specials: Bill Cosby himself and Richard Pryor live in concert. They're the same special, but they're on the opposite ends of the spectrum of comedy. You got one dude that's like straight edge, sitting down, and you got one dude that's just yeah. wilding the fuck out. Yeah, and the, <laughs> and they kind of look, the specials kind of look the same. Yeah. They're both kind of red well, and dim. Well, they both have that little yeah. mini fro. And the mini fro, but, but, everything. So, um, but anyway, but Ali pulling sort of from that sort of Grio-esque, like, uh, uh, mannerisms on stage mm-hmm. with sitting down and pulling in like, He's probably my favorite to watch because when he gets into a story, I'm I don't know where it's going, but I'm very confident that he's gonna he's gonna deliver yeah. it well. And he's uh, a reliable narrator. I could just I could yeah I mean I could just yeah I could he's somebody you could just sit and That'll just work. watch forever. That's I'm my absolute in favorite. Awe of the way he can control a room sitting down. Yeah, sitting yeah. down. It's yeah. so yeah. impressive yeah. He's, to he's, me. No, there's no Amy opinion. Schumer in our list. You jack wagons. This I really thought Trey was going to say Theo Vaughn, but that's a oh, no, <laughs> hilarious. Josh Wolf, oh. really? Rocky that's Dale Davis. Ah. No. Um, which no. does bring us that brings us though to the second to the second the second most asked question, which okay. obviously is the uh, what is your favorite Whiskey Brothers moment? And we'll bring a guest in for this. Out of your entire, I'm trying to remember when you guys came on. You stepped in permanently around six hundred. Yeah. yeah. You came on I came in after Rob retired. After Rob retired, so, about a year. so 900-ish, yeah. I would guess, and then one. Yeah. Um, well, okay, sorry, less than a year. Yeah. Let's say. No, so that was that was July or August, somewhere yeah. in there. So but how, I was yeah. producing and working. Yeah, you've been you've been you've been you've been around for enough episodes to have some opinions. some favorite moments. Yeah. Um, I probably will go first, okay. and out of all of the episodes I've done. The single most inflow, everybody swinging a bat moment was the rapping terrorist. Yeah, I, I've I've mentioned it before. There was that moment where everybody was doing uh, terrorist rap lyrics was absolutely hands down probably the funniest eight minutes of that. It's just going just around, around. it doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. Wanna uh wanna wanna see Allah shot <laughs> like every oh, lyric was just the This year Ramadan fell on a weekend. Yeah, it was I mean <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Face down, ass up, that's the way I like to pray. Right. Yeah. It, you know, the beat. <laughs> it was there. Uh that's that's gotta be I remember leaving that with a stitch. Like I couldn't breathe for a while. The way we've ended some episodes, but goddamn. <laughs> I uh yeah. Uh, uh, it wasn't necessarily a moment. I, I can give you a moment, but I'll, I'll tell you my favorite episode, and it's always going to be touching. It is the problem. You know, uh, I will say this: the 
episode six, the Mormon episode, mm-hmm. uh, which we made fun of Mormons for an hour. Uh, and we did. We went through their whole nothing book, else. Their whole book and everything else. And we were ahead of our time. We didn't know they were going to start running dry bar. We yeah. didn't know. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> ask yourself why no, no whiskey brother has a dry bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> well, that ain't the only fucking reason. Okay, <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's, <laughs> do you know? Do you know who the people who run dry bar are? Side note. Uh, do you okay. know that they are the people who were originally behind? You you won't remember the name, but you might when I remember because we talked about it on the podcast. Uh, a company called Vid, Vid Angel. Angel. Yeah, where they take the curse words. They were the company that would take a movie and allow you to play a version of it on your TV that scrubbed the the dirty parts for your family. And it was like artistically, you're not allowed to alter my shit. That a lot way. of mother forgetters. That's like, yeah, <laughs> it would just delete all. It would like yeah. automatically scrub that. And yeah. when that failed miserably, they formed Dry Bar. I want to go watch Pulp Fiction on that. Oh, it's six seconds long. <laughs> it's uh, it's literally just the the, it's the just him walking out of the boxing ring. They yeah, cut all the cigarettes out, and it's the opening and closing credits. Right? Yeah, that's uh, it's the studio logo, and then Samuel uh, Jackson eats a McMuffin. Something about it. no animals being harmed. That's the whole. <laughs> My favorite moment, and I wasn't even a part of it. Neither were you. We just kind of sat and laughed until we fell down, and that was the first time. Uh, Bonaduce Islands. Okay, yeah, Bonaduce was Dale Cheeseman and Rob, and Rob Mungle Mungle. fell into Bonaduce. You want to buy a me? fucking island? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a strong. That's worth going back. <laughs> Listen to Bonaduce touching. It's the problem, and uh, whatever episode I mentioned a minute oh, ago. Oh, Led Zeppelin also. Uh, and then the Led Zeppelin thing. But Bonaduce, I, I fucking, I, I, I couldn't breathe. The yeah. two new ones. What's your my? Uh, I got so many. Oh, I uh, thought you I, were gonna I, say I got none. No, no, no. I, right? <laughs> I'm like, Dude, none of this. You're is like, bad. I can't think of a single thing I'd put. You my, said a favorite put moment. My, <laughs> put my name behind? No, man. I, I it's so many. Uh, probably. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's all of us just Rob yelling at me about <laughs> something. <laughs> and probably my favorite one is. Is yeah, it's Rob screaming at me for not believing in boats. That's, that's probably my favorite <laughs> moment ever because he had a line that he said that killed me. He was he just goes, wait, wait, wait. He goes, okay, I don't believe in the Bible. All right, that's fair. Yeah, I don't think Noah's Ark happened. Okay, sure, but uh, you don't believe in it because boats are bullshit. <laughs> he was like, he just like. <laughs> Uh, it was that's just, the reason. It was, that's the reason. That's what he's hanging his hat on. It was just, that's just, that's a moment that played it's in my not head. That I all don't the believe time. you can't get all these animals in one yeah, yeah. place. <laughs> I just don't think you had the equipment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's where my like, favorite moments. Are. I feel like right now is the perfect time for a Maury Povich moment where it's like, <laughs> you, know, you know, you said that uh, your favorite memory was being <laughs> yelled at by Rob Mungle. <laughs> We just so happened to have in the studio. It turns out he's your father. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. Jamie, welcome to the show. The right reverend, Robert L. Mungo. Let me get this man a chair. I didn't want to cut you off without you, Jamie. I know, yeah. The fact that he said that, I'm like, it's so That's our favorite moment, dog. Yeah. What's up, man? What, What show is this? Chili <laughs> <laughs> cook-off. The one, yeah, right. It's the one you invented. Oh. How you doing today? God bless you, brother. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah, just sit in between them, kind of behind them. We'll make it work. Yeah, come on. Trey can scoot over a little bit. Oh, yeah, we'll make all this yeah, work. Sure. Rob Mungle, the founding member Thank of the you. Whiskey Brothers, 1998. <laughs> Welcome am, back, sir. Uh, 98. You just said that was Bill. Uh, it was Bill and Rob. Bill and Rob. Bill and Rob. They started this together back when Rob was a spry young man, yeah, beardless. Spry age of 58. The hair Robert. was uh, inverted. Yeah. You uh, you had none on your beard, but you had uh, plenty on your head. You have been absent uh, from the podcast for many, many, many months now, and we've missed you. Yeah. Well, you should know back. that the chat is going fucking ape shit right really? now. Really? Uh, see you back. I have no memory <laughs> of any of those favorite memories. Who? Who? They they said you, the Mormon one. I do remember that one. Yeah. That <laughs> Am I in sight, live? Can I? Can You're I good enough. Move it's forward. A <laughs> what does that mean? Move forward. That doesn't mean. Move your chair forward. That's that's a beautiful How's directorship. That? How's that? Okay. Rob, did you ever think when you started the Whiskey Brothers you were going to see a thousand of anything? Fuck no. Of anything. God damn. Thousand. 
No. We did two weeks, and I said, okay, well, that was a fun run. What? Did yeah, we did. We did okay. <laughs> that was Put those in the fucking box. And a, we'll he's, do he's speeding like, up the timeline. He spent four weeks going, what's a podcast? Yeah. So. That's true. <laughs> that's, we you were know, ahead of the game. We were 2000. 10? Yeah. 10? 11, yeah. 2011? God damn. February. You were noteworthy on iTunes because we were one of the only podcasts Fuck. in the fucking world? Yeah. yeah. Look how, look how far we've come. Now we've reached 68 people. <laughs> <laughs> it's just y'all and Tom Green. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yelling into the wilderness. It's, uh, you man. know another moment, Slade, was, was uh, coming back from Kentucky. When we, 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 when we, we all got to know who we really were. And we ride it back and... and uh, <laughs> Rob, you was having a rough go at it, man. Uh, listen, <laughs> it, listen. Thirty minutes in the car with Rob, it was is tough. is is, is it, it, relativity kicks in. It's it's not the amount of time in a car with you is not the amount of time in a car with you. No, no, it's, it's, no, it's, no man. It let's, was, let's not lose sight of the fact that I drove for he drove a nice twelve mile hours back. Yeah, we left at midnight. And yeah. I didn't stop driving till two in the afternoon. That or is, so. you were a, you were an absolute warrior. Yeah. At, that was on the way there, right? On the way no, there, yeah. There. Man. Because I plowed us through the snow on the way back, and then he was like, get out, you're done. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't let me drive at all. Bro. Oh, that was, I had just got flipped over. No shit. <laughs> yeah, that was just after you flipped yeah, over. Yeah, that was just after I flipped over. It was probably because of the wreck. And the, and the wreck and yeah. the, uh, <laughs> and the, the wreck and the eyes. And the Irishman. <laughs> and the Irishman. You must have watched it four I times. Watched it I watched it four times. the Irishman four times. Yeah. I watched <laughs> This is this he is saw more times than fucking De Niro's family. People don't under- <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I saw the movie longer than it took them to shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. He's yeah. back, people. Oh yeah, I that's where's yeah. Oh, would you like some? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, some whiskey? yeah I, I didn't know you drank. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yes, absolutely. And then yeah. Trey Trey found God again, which is wonderful. Good man, Rob. Yeah. I'm a yeah. I'm a born again. Watch born again Christian. Your born again Christian? Yeah, yeah, actually, man. This is a, this is a, well, no, this motherfucking Jesus freak. I want you to uh, pull his glass out I want you to do my baptism. Oh, yeah. Do your baptism? Yeah. You are a minister. Oh, I am a minister. You are a day no, minister. Had this dirty mic yeah. sitting in there, it. Wait, I have a. There's a glass over there. I grab one. It's uh, we got your. It's okay, got your okay. king oh, glass. Oh, I see with your name, name on, on there. Okay. Oh, then oh, is that you, oh, this your hobby? Get out of the memorial. Yeah, they took it. Yeah, it was covered in dust. I got him, I got pour it up, Rob Mungle. <laughs> since you up. since you have not been with us, what's the what's the coolest thing that's happened? Uh, I want a chili cook-off, the Houston White chili cook-off last week. Well, you can't you just finally uh, put beans in, huh? You go- <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Wait, <laughs> that's what's fucked up. You I got won. This, I got this big fucking trophy, right? And it's got beans it's got on beans the on the trophy, yeah, no. but yeah. there's no beans allowed in the contest. You weren't supposed to have beans in the contest. So I've got two first place trophies. Wait, what do you mean it's got beans it's got on? The, it's like yeah, fake like a beans. Bowl of looks chili. like it's beans. Got fake with beans. It. <laughs> Very but racist. they're like gold. Yeah, they're painted gold. And it's How do you know they're beans? Because it's beans. You can tell it's beans. They're beans shaped. Yeah. Maybe they're maybe they're Mexican jumping beans I've that came to celebrate your chili victory. You closed minded. One of them covered in beans. I hate beans and chili. The other is for a contest that was the first annual. Which I fucking hate first annual. Uh, There's no such thing as a first annual. Yeah, it's just the first. You're an no, inaugural. It's an inaugural. Guy. It's inaugural. <laughs> so those are my two. F- I got two of my first. But what if you do? Don't you listen to him? I, have, I struggle with this. If you say <laughs> inaugural and then you don't do a second year, what happens? Then you did nothing. You're but, fine. Okay. All right. God, God bless Rob. you, Rob. So you're getting, you're baptized. What the fuck? I want no, you to, want I want you you to host my baptism. Host? Well, you're a reverend. Yeah. Can you baptize Trey? Yeah, man. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's religion. So yeah. when uh, when are we doing this? And is there going to be open bar? How does this work? I don't. Well, I, I've never been to a black Presbyterian, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, what are you? Not, uh, Yo, not you not real water. Atheist. No, he grew up. He grew up. No, he grew <laughs> up. Uh, he grew Snake up, handler. No, he grew up Pescatarian. Pes- right? Pentecostal. Oh, what's the Pentecostal? Pentecostal. <laughs> I knew it was a P word. You are a pescatarian. pescatarian. You know how fishy you are, my friend. Well, you can put fish in chili, just not beans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Rob, God. do you put love in the Boy, chili? Boy, Louisiana and Texas just fought you. Yeah. That is, bro, nobody's said. okay with that. Norway wow. just went, no. <laughs> no. That's fucking fish and chili. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. 
fish and chili. <laughs> fish and chili. Still that's, better that's than beans. The, yeah, yeah, you know what? Fish and chili is the worst place to eat. I'll tell you right now. God damn that's fish and chili. chili. That fish. sounds like British food. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> the right. only place. All right. Uh, the chili perfect. just means it's cold, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fish and chili just it's like cigarettes and something else. I don't know. That's, they I want you to come here. to church with me, though. Come to church with you? Why? Yeah. Cause for my, cause I, I need you there to lead up to my baptism. You got the jackets? Yeah. What yeah. church are you going I'm born to now? Again. We'll we'll figure that out. Me and you will uh, uh, figure out the logistics <laughs> of where we're going. But I I need you there, and I'm I'm trying to be a changed brother, man. That's you why are. I'm, I'm re- I really am. I, I found Christ. He or we f- he found, found me. Christy? Despite all our laughing at him right now, this is real. Yeah, yeah man, I've, I I found, and I want you to be a part of it. You're the reason <laughs> I, I found God again. I am? A lot yeah. of people. You know what, a lot of people. <laughs> what, you don't want to yeah. turn out like this? Yeah, they may say, nobody, I don't ever want to be that wrong. It was fear. <laughs> it was fear. <laughs> no. Jesus, whatever he thinks, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I found awesome. it because you, you kind of look like what they told me God looked like. <laughs> <laughs> You got to look like the guy they told me. <laughs> you got to okay, look in like fairness, every time they draw God in the New Yorker, yeah. he's he's missing hair for it, one. It does. Look, you do it's look like ha- the New Yorker God. Yeah. The New Yorker That's God. <laughs> exactly. Hey, I'm saving souls over here. <laughs> well, no, I got Ten God Commandments. What? You want Ten? Come on. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, I, you oh, prayed oh. to me. I misunderstood. I misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, he prayed to me. <laughs> What are all these fucking rats doing up here? <laughs> What's going on? It's a lot of rats up here. God. Jesus yeah. Christ. No, but I want you to come, man. You God's know, a big dick cracker. I, I found. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost my TikTok. And TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> almost mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He looks like me, way they got Ten Commandments and Ten Toes. <laughs> All right, can we can we can we had a discussion last night? If y'all don't mind me bringing, so you ran up. into Rob last night. I ran into Rob last night. It was my last day of non Christianity. Uh uh-huh. And uh, yeah, last see that's what you don't even get. You missed the whole. This is serendipitous. You're giving up. Oh. Giving up serendipitous. Who's serendipitous? serendipitous. Sarah. That's exactly how you say it. What dipitous, are you worried about? Dipitous. <laughs> I that that's, bar, that's 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 Fife? Let's on. not play vocabulary games. Totally okay, fair. y'all are from weird places. So anyway, uh, me too. But we. Uh-huh. We met up last night. That was my last night as a uh, regular Christian. A sinner. <laughs> now I'm a born again Christian, right? Okay. That was my that was my death night. Take two <laughs> Christians, got, right? <laughs> no. So you we pick. got into a discussion. Of, uh, this uh-huh. is probably bad for the camera. We got into a discussion about, uh, you know, feet because Rob's a, Rob's a feet. Everybody knows Rob's yeah. a foot guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing I found out, and we were ta- we were ranking feet. Football and you has said a whole other that meaning. you said that Katy Perry yeah. has the best feet. Wait, did you yeah. say that was a whole other you? No. Oh, no, okay. No. You're still the same Rob I'm that loves say, celebrity you feet, right? Born again yeah. fetisher? That's you said <laughs> football has a whole other meaning. Oh, yeah, okay. Football. I got you. That ah. Well, now I'm now I'm back in. I oh, finally Lord. got a sports joke. I, I see. <laughs> oh, this guy here. <laughs> yeah, Katy Perry's got great feet. Uh, and I was telling others. you, I would put this idiot. I would. I will put Oprah and Lizzo's feet <laughs> Lizzo. over them. Okay, wait. What, Lizzo. What's the contest here? Hardest working? Nah, it's just better yeah, right? feet. <laughs> Biggest? Richest. <laughs> better feet. Usain, and I, but my number one was Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt has because, better. Yeah, Usain Bolt way has better. the best feet. They're talented. They're probably worth a lot more. Yeah, and I'm uh, I'm not gay. What the fuck? Nah, you missing want, the can you missing re- the point. No, you're it, missing the point. You don't feet understand matter what a fetish if you're means. Gay. <laughs> oh, Rob, don't. What's your point? What's your problem? What's your thing with the feet? It's a foot fetish. Get People that out foot fetish, but don't look at dudes' feet. Pitch, pitch feet to me. He don't doesn't look, look at the feet. balls of the feet. P- yeah. Pitch yeah, feet. Yeah, don't look at the balls of the feet. <laughs> yeah. He likes feet without an Adam's apple. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's funny. <laughs> he it. don't look at the balls yeah. of the feet. That foot's got an Adam's so, apple. So, pitch feet to me. Right? Let's pitch say I'm, feet? Let's say you I'm not in the pitch feet. feet. Wait, I'm not in the feet. No, but, but like you but said, Katy Perry has the best. Yeah. What's what? What makes a good foot? Yeah. Aesthetically pleasing. There's a little thing with the second toe, that it's got to be flat and not crooked, or you uh, can't come. Well, you know, don't <laughs> kink shame. I'm just saying, don't kink shame. And what? It was a fair. It was a yeah. question. Yeah. I said uh, it with a straight face. Her, like this is a real interview. The fucking uh, chick who played uh, Hermione. Yeah. Emma Watson. Yeah, she got the good feet. Yeah. 
But I, I, I remember yeah. your your two most hated are uh, Britney Spears Britney, and Taylor Swift. No, Britney Swift. Spears and uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. They got hillbilly toe. Yeah, they have hillbilly toe. <laughs> this whole thing. Yeah. They have the hillbilly toe, and that's fucking. You can tell a person lives from f- fucking Tennessee. Bro, but by the fucking big toe. By the time but you do com- you like or dislike that? I didn't. I dislike it. Okay. The but hillbilly toe is fucking ridiculous. But by and there's the no surgery to get rid of it. <laughs> and I'm gonna say this again. Wow. Said confidently, like a man who has Googled cannot, foot surgery for hillbilly foot. Hillbilly toe. Well, because like, let's cannot, be honest, like, Taylor Swift and Britney Google have the money. If they could. Britney Spears' big stupid fucking toe right now. Have you? Oh sma- no, you showed me. Are you a feet smasher? <laughs> or are you just a Do foot observer? No. Exactly. That's what, yeah. No, I'm a. It's a. It's an aesthetics thing. Like oh, so you just like look at so I'm gonna tell you, I'm telling you, I put Lizzo feet. Man, that fucking oh, hoof. I'm fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> not a hoof. Fuck her. God, First of all, her, her feet got confidence. That's what <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> look, I don't need they fucking body positive. She was like, it's, hey! Yes! <laughs> the feet gotta support them calves. I don't well, need some body positive. Fit till foot shoe thing, gotta man. fit. Fuck <laughs> 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 I put my hands up. Check the scale. All right, anyway. uh, <laughs> Why men great till they got a feet raised? <laughs> Every foot's a ten where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you the worst is Jennifer Garner. Ugh. <laughs> Man. Boy. Jennifer Garner's got the worst. Oh, do you have it? They're, do you ha- do they're you ha- like grown in Chernobyl. They're fuck, those oh, are fucked good. up feet. He's good. He can't drink no more. Oh, please. <laughs> you know, fuck you, your God. You're going to hear how to. You know, <laughs> I ain't about that, but you're going to hear how the Whiskey Brothers really got started. <laughs> First of all, no diversity. <laughs> all right, we're struggling. Sam? <laughs> right, right now, he's wishing he could go back. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 it's just like baseball. You let one of them in. Exactly right. Oh <laughs> right. wow, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is wild, right? Here. This is this is. We didn't know Sam was one black point, when we read his name. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the '73 yeah. Knicks to him <laughs> right now. Bob hired him right off the application. There was no interview. There was. <laughs> He likes the Ramones, and his name's Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it ironic that three weeks ago I was 42? <laughs> this, all right. this, I, that's so funny. That's really funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Did you pitch it to Bill like this? Hey, we should get that cut. We should get Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bill. Bill was gonna start the uh, the Negro League whisper you oh, that's so <laughs> <laughs> They were called the Kansas City Clowns. We're gonna be then. on a <laughs> we're gonna be on a flight. Here's your bus ticket, yeah. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you and all we'll the other San openers. Diego. <laughs> Man, this bus the is Kansas hot. City Clowns. Yeah, <laughs> they play in Atlanta. We brought we in can... Sam when we went on a tour. We had to get a green book. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so. Funny. God damn. damn, Rob. See, I told you. I didn't you. start Jim Crow. Yeah, Fuck yeah, you. you. You look like it. Jim Crow laid it on us. <laughs> but you were old enough to have argued about it. <laughs> How you guys doing? My name Look, is I, 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 I supported him. <sighs> my name is James Crow. It's my brother Jimmy. Yeah. I'm sold. I knew when it was James Crow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was friends with his older brother, Jerry Crow. They were... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Dale Earl something. <laughs> Jay, I don't know if you noticed that. They sounded like you, by the way. Yeah. I just went with the first J that came to mind. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's not, Sorry. No, Go with good. Gerald. That's not, I guess, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just go with Jay Soundings. Yeah. We should give some more money away, Sam. I think you're in charge. Okay. Oh, Lord, I can't well, breathe. We do that, I, I do want to know uh, the favorite podcast moments from these two. No. Oh, that's uh, right. My, my favorite is Funhouse Mirror. I've never laughed so goddamn hard in my life. Funhouse Mirror, Funhouse Mirror, Funhouse Mirror episode, we were all joking about shit, and me and Trey were kind of fussing back and forth. They sounded and like Sam us. And Sam goes, they're like us in a Funhouse fun Mirror. House mirror. And I almost is. pissed myself. And, uh, <laughs> Which then we I would have then had to piss myself. Then we discussed all the ways we could fuck with people, like walking in into airport bathrooms and coming out. Coming out. Coming out. <laughs> I think that was the end of the episode. I think I said that, and then you were like, yep, cut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's funny. I got to say, when you mentioned it, the, uh, the Mormon episode, uh-huh. it was like five or six. Episode six? Six, yeah. yeah. That was when it really came together. I was like, okay, we got something here. We might have something. Yeah. That we were f- we were all over the place uh, for a while. It was just it was four guys yeah. talking, and we realized we couldn't 
keep that up because when we started this, we didn't really work together a lot. And like we only hung out maybe one or two nights a week, uh, if that much. And then uh, you came in with that list about the Mormons' theory on yeah. masturbation and like their their policy on masturbation. You were like, I got something. And we were like, okay, well, what are we going to do after that? And then full fucking hour. Yeah, 50-something yeah. minutes later. That well, the first time we did, you can't make this funny. So get these breaks fixed. Get, these get, these break, breaks get the fixed. breaks fixed. Yeah. God, that's that, an episode title in and of itself. There are so many. That was good. That was the first time we ever did that. And that was like those episodes. Like, okay, now we got something. We're, we, something's happening here. I, uh, I hated you for that line so much. <laughs> when, he, when he dropped it, I was like, "You motherfucker!" <laughs> God, that's good. It was right there. Like, and yeah, Marlena in the chat. Uh, certainly, you are biased, but you are correct. Uh, anything with Ed Blake was stellar. Cheers, buddy. Pour him up. Pour him up. Yeah. Pour him up. Sam, yeah. Sam wants to lose his foot tonight. Make noises and <laughs> do Ed things. Uh, I mean, you're not. The I just miss driving around, around up, remodeling right, houses right. and <laughs> smoking dope with him. That's <laughs> when I had my best time. With him. <laughs> that motherfucker was the funniest guy on 45. Ed Blake. <laughs> That's uh, to all our previous cast members: Dale Cheeseman, Ashton Womack, John Wesley, Big Ed, Kiki you know Maroon, my favorite Owen Dunn. Thing about Jerry: every story starts at a work site. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what Jerry said. I'm working, so I'm doing the plumbing on this guy's house. It was a shit <laughs> job. And uh, <laughs> JW's been in the background. He was running a year behind the scenes before uh, before we got into it with him on air. Uh, and then he's been uh, friends, with, and he's been here forever. Um, should we? Uh, should we let's do go. some? Yeah, let's spin the wheel and then let's do some. Uh, let's do some seat arranging and bring in uh, another guest. Oh, yeah. I think. Hundred dollars yeah. will go to. to Jose Virtuoso. Virtuoso. <coughs> you have seven days to send me a message on Facebook or Instagram with your PayPal or Venmo handle. Uh, Jose oh, Virtuoso. After seven days, we're drinking it. Yeah, yeah we are. Uh, no, we're going to have some alternates for this as well. Oh, I think that would be great if we just go to Specs and put it back in the Here's your out. money, you won. <laughs> uh, TBD. We'll drink it up. Uh, let's TBD. do this. Let's figure this out. Uh, hello to everybody in the uh, back house. Yeah, let's uh, you introduce let's bring a uh, yeah, uh, special guest and Whiskey <coughs> Brother alumnus, uh, <coughs> Chuck. Where are you going? Savage. Chuck Savage, everybody. Woo! Chuck Savage. Oh, yeah. And if you guys know uh, Chuck Savage as a whiskey brother and as a uh, as a stand up comic, uh, but not I bet y'all don't know him as Buck Savage. Buck I Savage, do. you remember that? <laughs> yeah, Buck one of my favorite Savage. moments. Oh, man, nice to see you guys. It's been a long time. Chuckles. Up to you besides eating. I <laughs> pop uh, pop those headphones on. Pop them on so we can hear you. The uh, so you can get in on that microphone. Chuck Savage, also for those of you who are uh, uh, ill informed, uh, a, a fantastic bass player and. Uh, for many, many, many bands along the way, tell just give them a little he quick. Was also, uh, the bass player of one of the greatest comedy albums of all time. Well, I was yeah. gonna say, as you're listening to people you played for. Well, yeah. Hey, good to see you guys. Let me just say a couple things before we get Cheers. fired off here. Let's go. That's cool. It's like uh, I gotta tell you, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be Carlin over Pryor. But uh, you guys forget <laughs> the magic that was Steve Martin for about two years. That was incredibly explosive. <laughs> That you guys aren't thinking about Great, great physicality Yeah um, He's Tommy uh, Drake's time of 100 Right You know, is what he was And Tommy Drake is Steve Martin Is what he is Oh, I read Born Standing Up And I thought I was reading The Tommy Drake story that's, Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> the thing. that's the thing Born Standing Up was how I found out I suffered from anxiety at the very end of that, when he started talking about his anxiety attacks, I thought I was in the gym and trying to lose weight because I thought I was damn near having a heart attack one night on stage. And then it happened again. And then he described his anxiety attacks that would happen to him on stage during his closer, which is when it was happening to me. And it's like in the last chapter of the book. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I had no idea. I didn't think black people got anxiety. Crazy. Yeah. And That's again, awesome. also. No fucking beans and chili. <laughs> we and agree. The, and, we agree. And we this only... guy is an old foot pitcher from years back. I know that about him. So anyhow, I want to clear that up before we get started. <laughs> but you, you said Carlin over Pryor, huh? Yeah, I say Carlin over Pryor, but I say don't forget Steve Martin. That was explosive. That was that was those guys did something like this, and he had been a writer for a long time, just exploded. And that was but an Steve Martin. Steve Martin also didn't need words at parts in his act. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it, it's it's uh, the best example I've ever seen of that is uh, Eddie Izzard's "Dressed to Kill" mm -hmm. when he says that Engelbert Humperdinck died, mm -hmm. and then for like the next sixty seconds, he just looks and goes yes, and then goes no, and then yes, no, but he doesn't talk, and he's slaying this fucking room. Mm -hmm. Steve Martin could do that all the time. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the time without. It was, yeah. it was weird. Your facial expression. Again, I'm I'm older than you guys, and that y'all missed that explosion. That is fair. No, I respect yeah. it though. I respect. Yeah, the yeah. It, it, it was crazy. But anyhow, uh, as far as music, you were talking about music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're. I mean, you're. That's yeah. that's that's the. I don't know which part of your life is bigger, music or comedy. I've known you through the comedy side, but you're a you're an accomplished musician, and you have your friends. We we share mu- many mutual friends in sure, the music yeah, I got world. Sure, jacket on right now. I got a, super, yeah. super suckers. suckers. Yeah, suckers. Well, I play with those guys. Uh, did probably about seventy five shows across North America over yeah. the years as a country bass player. There's another guy doing it right now. They're, they're out on tour right now. There's another guy playing that country both with Jesse Dayton in the first yeah. slot and in the second slot. His name is uh, Christopher Rhodes, great bass player and everything, you know. Nice. I haven't been playing bass in a long time. I Although, wanted to be Chuck Savage when I grew up because I, I knew be him Chuck as a Savage rock when I grew star, up now. a comic, a radio <laughs> DJ, <laughs> and he also rented scooters. <laughs> he did all kind of shit. Well, my roommate did the scooter stuff, but I helped, <laughs> I helped him. Right. But no, uh, yeah, there's that Jesse Dayton and Super Suckers and Mitch Hedberg, obviously. And uh, you mentioned that, that, you know, one of the best comedy records. I found this out in June and it was without going too deep into details. There's a documentary on Mitch being put together right now uh-huh. yeah. by a guy that's really a fat producer on Netflix. He has a lot of stuff already on Netflix. OK, nice. and so it, it's in the works right now. And. They told me that, you know, and I didn't know this. This is really cool, and it's like, it's, I'm not bragging for me, but I'm just, I kind of am, you know, whatever the fuck. Brag on, motherfucker. But the thing is, I didn't know this until June. Spin Magazine put out the top 40 comedy albums of all time. That album comes in at number 16. Whoa. Wow. Nice. Over, pe- over people like Richard Pryor. Wow. And like, and like Red Fox and shit like that, you know, and it's like, not that, I, I don't want to, Chuck- I'm not trying to qualify all that, but it, just for me, I always told, John Wesley will tell you this more than anybody else, I've always said, you know, I got into comedy because I was a musician and I kind of wanted, but I was always telling jokes on stage as a singer. And it was like, I wasn't really a comedian. And I said, man, I want to go be a really, I want to figure out what it feels like to be a real comedian. And you guys know, I mean, like, you know, I wasn't the best fucking comedian in the world, but at the same time, you were a fuck, damn good comedian. But I bro. fucking worked. Damn. I worked. I worked. You know, I worked. I was a feature act that worked for several years and. I'd make six hundred dollars a weekend and fucking go home thinking it was funny as hell because I was just fucking getting drunk and talking <laughs> shit. I was gonna do that anyhow, and I got six hundred dollars a weekend to do it. You taught me a lot of shit. One of my favorite road trips ever was with you to College Station playing third floor cantina in your Cadillac. We were so goddamn high we couldn't see the highway. <laughs> I have no idea what this kid's talking about. <laughs> We were talking the other night about how when uh, when you would MC gigs and then you would do the announcements. Yeah, and like you you pull you, the note out. You pull out the note. Put the money in the bag, bitch. Put the money in the bag, bitch. Sorry, that was from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It was uh, and you know, it's funny. That's a uh, Tommy Drake and I talked about that a lot. That's an old vaudeville thing called the note switch. Oh, like, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and Tommy, Tommy, had, I, I didn't know this. He told me all this shit, and I'm like. Yeah, I've been making it up, but I easily believe him when he talks. That kind of <laughs> yeah. He's a scientist. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, you business that stuff. Mm. So, do you remember? Do you remember any? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the but, throat. I mean, go ahead. You were yeah, the throat. Do you remember uh, any, uh, any? I remember the Whiskey Brothers show when you guys came to Beaumont. But were there any other road memories that I haven't been? There's Whiskey Brothers stuff before me, and that's what I'm coming to realize. Rob's adult brain remembers shows. none of it. The tuxedo shows were. Uh, that's what I was mainly a part of most of the time. Oh, I got this fucking thing. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. Um, that's how oh, I shit. came in. That's Jerry's closer. Tra- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to rip you off. Fuck. I didn't mean to act like <laughs> Well, shit, I guess I should. I made that video. It's a really great video that we made. That one trip to the hotel that flooded later on. Well, I'm wearing you, Rob's you're, you're like with a slick yeah. ass hat. Yeah. Which, by the way, I still have that fucking hat. It won't fit on my head if you ever want it back. <laughs> Not fit me. <laughs> it's funny. We put all that together, and, and it, it was like, don't put that out. And later, about 10 years later, I was like, fuck these assholes. I'm putting it out. And, <laughs> and you guys love seeing it. It's great. It's great that's nostalgia right. yeah, about awesome. a hat to have yes. it. You know what that's I mean? That's 15 years at least. Oh, bro, that was 2003. Oh, I mean, I'm, wow. throwing yeah, pop, I'm throwing popcorn in your mouth at one point. I was, <laughs> I was 23 years old. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. So back then, so here's You're the way I remember 20. Whiskey Brothers, just so you guys, for my history version of what I remember, yes. is basically that it started out as obviously Rob and Bill Miller, who I thought was listening. I hope oh, he's, he's still he's, listening. He's, yeah, he's definitely listening. Because, because uh, that dude is was one of my biggest inspirations of the last stop. No question about dude, it. I used to watch him just fucking just sit I, back and watch him crush. I was scared to talk to him. And I, I was too. I was too. And the with thing good was, reason. He was with Bill harsh. Miller, what, even though Rob was <laughs> Rob was like over the top cock of Christ guy. You know, at the same time, it was Bill Miller that really kind of showed me how far you could go with the audience and how far you could fuck with them. And and, and, he, and I was the first guy to really show me that in a live setting that I was watching it like a like right. a, a creative 
thing versus a going to a show. Fan, you, yeah. You know, yeah. And, and I started watching him a lot like that. So, whatever. But it was those two guys. And then the next incarnation I remember was him and Ben. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I remember it became the tuxedo shows where it was all of us, but you weren't there yet. You came in later in the tuxedo shows, maybe? Yeah, like y'all did one or two without me. Right, yeah. right. Because right. Tommy was part of it. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yo, so it was ben Tommy, Craig, Riley Barber. Riley Barber was in for one. Well, he was one show. Yeah. That was one show. He was one. Then you did the one with Tommy. Yeah. And then the third one you asked me. And I was like, are you fucking kidding? That, yeah. yeah. Well, that's because Riley pissed tux, in though. the tuxedo. Well, yeah. there, there's these. It's, it's interesting <laughs> because you. Not far. Not you, far off. You, we, talk, we talk a little bit about how <laughs> way back in the day, the Whiskey Brothers mm-hmm. was like your, you and Bill's version of keeping the outlaw kind of yeah. tradition alive and doing a different thing. And mm-hmm. you kind of don't think about it along the way. Two th- like, I think back to that tuxedo show when I had the club and you guys being there. And there's a part of my brain where there's like, that was just the other day. Yeah. It's, but I guess like uh, the, are there, and this is my question for you, Chuck. Do you, are there moments where you know in the middle of the moment that you're in the moment? Like when you were playing bass with Mitch, did you have any concept of like, this is going to be the thing it's going to be uh, like when y'all were recording or was it just like, man, I'm just up here and you just every day continuously are like, holy shit. That- now, so it's like, you know how fucking stoned I was back then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're clear. So we're clear. <laughs> how long was it before you knew you played on that album? No, no. It, it's funny because, uh, I tell this story a lot of times. I won't, I won't go too deep into it, but first time I met Mitch was in the parking lot. Babbitt said, "Hey, you're gonna. This guy's gonna play bass with you." Okay, so I said, well, "What do you want me to do? Nice to meet you. What do you?" Whoa, whoa, do? that was Babbitt's idea. It was Babbitt's idea. You don't know that, so yeah. No. Babbitt, so get deep into this. Is a story. There are people who know this album. Yeah. Tell the story. When are you gonna tell this again? I thought this was Mitch's idea. Lean in. No, this was not Mitch's tell idea. Tell us what happened. This is Babbitt's idea because you remember open mic. I was starting to take the the upright up. Tom Hester. Tom kind of, Hester was there. He says. He Tom Hester was there. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> take us to the night. I want to know. Well, so, so Babbitt had called me and said, hey, I'm going to put you on stage with this dude named Mitch Hedberg. And guys, I was a musician. I didn't know any of these comics. I, I walked in there saying, I want to be a comedian. I'm going to figure it out. And just started doing open mic. Danny Rio started like a month before I did. And we, uh, we Houston's kind of funniest at the same winner time. for those of you listening. Hell yes. But anyhow, we, we, he said, I want to put you on stage. Because I've been working six months maybe at the club, maybe open mic. Uh-huh. And, uh, but I had this upright bass, and he knew I had it. And he, I told him the story. I was a pro musician. I was trying. I just was, I wanted to be a comedian. I wanted to be a real comedian, not just pretend like I was a comedian. And so he was like, okay, well, he said, this guy's coming. I want you to come and play the bass with him. What happened was Babbitt had been at a wedding and had seen Mitch on stage doing like five minutes, ten minutes at a wedding for whatever reason. And the band was behind him, and the bass player was up there. So he just started fucking with the bass player, and it was really funny. And Babbitt said, well, if I put a bass player on stage, then let's see what happens. Wow. So we meet in the parking lot for the first time. He says, this is Chuck, this is Chuck, Mitch, this is, Mitch, this is Chuck. And I said, hey, nice to meet you and everything, you know, because I, I, was, I was like, I'm into it, you know, but I was a pro, I was a bass player. I wasn't really looking at it as a comedian. I was looking at it as a right. bass player gig. So I went in there. I was like, I'm ready. But I said, Mitch, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to Play fast, I'm slow, loud, soft. What do you, what do you, look, what's your, what's your idea here? He goes, uh, hey, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, uh, just bring the bass up there. It'll be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, yeah, but you know, country, rockabilly, kind of a blues, jazz. He goes, yeah, just bring the bass up there. It'll be cool. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, and that, to me, I was like, well, that means I'm just going to produce Stand what I, there. do what I want to do. You know, I'm just going to figure it out and do what I think is right. So I just basically got up there. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Hedberg. And when I pick up my bass, when I plug everything in and just sitting there waiting for the rest of the guys for start a sound check or whatever, I'll just sit there and warm up playing these basic things. One of them is the first thing I played. I just started warming up. I said, well, I better warm up. So I just started warming up. And that's like a 625 jazz turnaround is what it's called. It goes, it goes doom, 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 doom. And I just started doing that. It's like a bluesy jazz turnaround thing. It's just warming up. And just played that and then I realized as soon as he got started getting really really fat laughs now listen to this I'd never heard him so I'm watching Mitch Hedberg for the first time wait, too wait, from behind what? him I'm yeah. sitting there behind him for the first time hey, you gotta remember this Mitch Hedberg the, this club nobody. yeah that was the first club he headlined that's right and they so were headlining him early knew who he, knew who he was really that's true I forget that he part of what year was this the last or? stop this would what, be 99 it would have been the yeah. it would have been the spring of 99 well like or, about now in 99. So because, he had, he yeah. did he even have he the Comedy have a, Central? Nothing, the, he nothing. didn't even have the. 
He nah. was he was like on a trek this up. Was the and album. Babbitt had seen him at the comedy store in L.A. And this was Strategic Grill location. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. that was the first. And he was the first club he headlined. So and you're yeah. on stage watching Mitch Hedberg and for I'm the laughing, first time while simultaneously fuck. playing bass on one of the 16th greatest comedy album no, ever. No, 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 no. This is the first time I ever played with him. Okay. Yeah. We, this is in spring. We didn't do the album until September. Okay. Well, that makes it way more uh, impressive. Yeah. You guys took a whole six months before you did the 16th greatest <laughs> album. So you played with him before you did the album. and then so A, we, a we, couple of times. And he, then he I came think he back. came in the spring. I think he came in the summer. Ooh. Then he came in the fall. And in September, he came. Several, he, came, he actually came in the summer. We did a lot of shows together. Like so did you, only, did you only play the laugh stops? Y'all just played that together? Or did y'all go out? Well, and, we did that until we made the record. And so we made the record. Then we started going out. And Babbitt started booking him more, booking him at theaters. And, like, he booked him in Madison, Wisconsin, this giant theater. And he also did one in Minnesota, big theater in Minnesota. And I always looked at a bass player gig. But then I got to Madison, Wisconsin, and he said, yeah, we don't have an opener. You're going to open the show. Then we're going to bring out this other comic who's a friend of his. Just, it was just this dude who's a friend of his. And then, uh, and then you'll bring out Mitch and play bass with him. And it, and it was a lot of Chuck Savage on that I show. I was going to you know, say, yeah, that's was, a lot, kind of, you know, yeah. a lot Where's of Chuck. Where's my fucking money? Chuck, you're also, <laughs> we talk, it's, it's, Houston's known for, it's, we've developed so many road dogs and it's, there's a, there's a kinship amongst us. Uh, you also, if I'm not sure. mistaken, 50 states in 50 Hell days, gig 50 America, shows. America, Hell gig America. Me and Tommy Drake and John Westling. Uh, and Cheers. Yeah, you, which is, and I've, I've tried to map it out in my All head. All three Whiskey Brothers, actually. It's, yes. uh, it's yeah, that's a that's an accomplishment under the umbrella. Uh, 50 states, 50 shows, 50 days. There's only one other entertainer that we know of that's done it on purpose. Is that Morgan, Morgan Preston? Preston? No, okay. I don't know. Who <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 Two. I, I'm sorry, Morgan. I don't know who you are, and I apologize. No, no. Morgan, Morgan Preston. Uh, he did like I think he did like multiple states in one night. Like he did uh, on the state line. His his goal was to beat y'all. Right. He he set out so to I do think, it faster than I think he did like, like that. I think he did like 50 and 48 days or something. But it like doesn't that. matter. You did it first. And but that's the all whole that. but the whole point of him doing it was to beat you guys. That's he, interesting. He I found know. out what you guys did, and he was just like. I bet I can do it quicker. That's cool. Those I are think that's always. Cool. I think that's a cool story. No, it's a great. It's like, yo, somebody was out chasing my record. Like, that's gave a shit what I was fucking doing. I mean, in look, 2005. dude. So who were you gonna Joe say? Montana. I watched Peyton Manning, Manning go out there. I'm like, it's kind of cool. This kid's chasing me. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I nice. did it first. Who uh, who do you know that's George done? George Thorogood and the Destroyers. What? Yeah, they, really? They, they did it. They did oh, it back before there yeah, were even planes. Yeah, but all planes. they got to do is play one fucking song. No, I mean, so. they did laugh. Two. The song's long to. as fuck. Yeah, the song's an hour long. <laughs> and they're going to get laughs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking horn player. But anyway, is, is it, uh, you know, uh, they did it with planes. Yeah, y'all yeah, carted. it. We, we, we drove Except for Alaska thing. and Hawaii. We, it's funny because uh, Tommy and I, we always laugh about it. We they did a deal with Alamo Car Rental, and they had a summer special, Unlimited Miles. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody who got fired at Alamo. Well, because it, of it y'all. Was funny. We had a minivan. We had a minivan that was. Uh, we took all the way through the whole thing until we got to Butte, Montana, which is probably you know state like 40, 42, something like that. And we're going up a hill in this thing, and it fucking shut out. <laughs> and it just shut the Done. fuck down. And it was like we were sitting on the side of the road calling them, and finally they came in and dropped off a like a Nissan Pathfinder. And then we got to cram all that shit, including my upright base, oh God. into that fucking oh. day. Oh, my God. But we only had to make it to California, Southern California, and then Tommy hooked up with one of his bus drivers from the share tour, and all of a sudden we took the share bus from Bakersfield to Portland to... Or something, Portland, yeah, and then Seattle, Seattle. And, and then flew the last two. Yeah, got, you have to. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> you can't drive to Hawaii. Just believe see it or you not. guys. Chuck's like we were really stoned back there. Yeah. <laughs> we were actually, an actual gig goes from Seattle to Hawaii, but you have to drive it. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, CW yeah. Kendall yeah, gig. Yeah, CW Kendall. I was about to say a triple run. <laughs> and then you're 150 <laughs> bucks in no hotel. We did a lot of triple then shows. You're back on that, in Seattle, Se- Se- which, tour. by the way, he just retired. Uh, really? The triple run is no yeah, longer. Uh, just a couple of months ago, or if, if even that. Well, that's probably best for everybody. When you guys yeah. said y'all went to K- Kentucky, was that Louisville, the comedy caravan? Yes, yeah. we yeah. did the caravan. Yeah, with that guy, Silver, same guy run it. Still? No, it's uh, no. a woman's now bought it. Oh, that's too bad. Diane owns it, and they're good people, too. It's still, it's the room is so 
somebody's fun. that's yeah. a, what's his name's home club one of my favorite comedians he spent the night at my house before uh, uh who used to the, live out the there the pun guy the pun guy wait uh, <laughs> you know i'm talking about tim northern oh northern, northern. Tim yeah, northern. Yeah, silent yeah, yeah. b is dumb <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> the, the ku clock clan <laughs> <laughs> We got to do a couple of things. Love uh, Northern, man. Let's dude, do. Let's do. Let's give some more money away. That's important. Sam's gonna pull out another hundred dollars. We're gonna give that away. Uh, we are gonna do. Let's let's play. I host a show on Tuesdays because it's called "Is This Thing On?" Uh, and on that show, we play things like dead comedians, and I give comedians to to different comics to resurrect their jokes. But what if we did a round of you guys playing each other? Yeah. What if I put what if I task you with doing your favorite joke from the people at the table? Can you can you put something together if I give you 10 seconds? Uh, <laughs> um, we'll we'll tap into this in a second. Sam, do we have a winner? Yeah! Hit that button. I'm going to figure out how to rearrange this table. Tra uh, Chuck, you brought a base, did you not? That's uh, I can confirm or deny that, your honor. Well, if one showed up, uh, do we have an answer? Warlock DBA. Oh. Is that his DBA? That was that was two uh, two clicks past Mark Hurtado. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! That was almost Mark Hurtado. Very very. Oh, he's close. got commercial money. He's yeah, fine. Yeah, he does. He, he ate a chicken time, wing for, for money. Uh, <laughs> all right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stand Chuck up, and we're gonna get him with the base. We're gonna bring that in a uh, yeah. Let's figure this out. Let's put Chuck in the base behind me. I like me, it. I like it. And uh, we'll let him noodle away, oh, yeah. and then we'll or we stack them all up back. Let's figure this out. Um, I'm coming behind you. No all right, come behind me. We got clearly, Rob. You, uh, got we we got all this. Trey Tutson's going to be rejoined in the podcast. Uh, Charita in the crowd. We appreciate you. It is uh, lovely to Ch have Ch you Nola. in the room. Uh, we we do we do welcome fans in every now and again. Uh, to you guys in the chat, we say hello to you guys following us on all things Whiskey Brothers. We say thank you as well. Trey just ran out and grabbed another four loco. Uh, <laughs> Chuck's gonna duck, duck around. Awesome, bitch. Do we need to mic this bad boy? Oh, I think we can hear that. I don't that. think so. That is chunky, Charlie baby. Brown, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it thunk. Let's what does the thing. rag do? Does that help tune it? Is that a <laughs> is that a Canadian pot leaf? It is actually a Canadian Royal Oak leaf. A Canadian Royal Oak leaf. You know, All right, boast, that's you know, boast. Boast the company. The company yeah. Shirts. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's. Oh. Shirts and they stick them in there. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Look at that. Uh, it's a little Royal Canadian Oak leaf. Slay. We'll, we'll put a uh, yes. Real quick, <laughs> Trey Tutson. What y'all think about this? Real quick, as a um, some of the fans ring in with their favorite moments. Ooh, and I can kick one off. Charita said, "Cause that's some shit that." Come up here. Oh, come on, Charita. Come come yeah, yeah, let's get eight people on the show, yeah, right? We yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got this. But no, no, just come. Yeah, say squeeze up. in while Adam adjusts cameras. So Charita said, Charita rang in, and we'll let the fans do it as yeah, well. Yeah, there's some, there's some in the chat. What, uh, Charita? What is your favorite moment in a thousand episodes? And you have been around before the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> my, <laughs> my favorite moment was the mall commercial. The oh my god! The mall commercial where they 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 had given out their uh, they had done that whole video about shit. Was that the caring is what was the oh, Oakwood is, Mall? That one, Oakwood Mall. Uh, Jesus Christ, Oakwood Mall. Uh, Oak, I remember that now. Wow. Charito is brought up. So they, this this, this we have we have been sent some very white commercials. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only. Only way I know how to put that. Get your braziers at Oakwood Mall. <laughs> Get your giant braziers. You know I remember. Now it's back. Go Commanders. Go Commanders. Go! Oh, yeah. oh, fucking San Antonio Commanders, and we now did. it's a real team. This is a fist bump, bitch. Would you fucking? <laughs> God damn. I'm not fucking. February's over. I'm not sitting here just doing this. I got a fist bump for 13 seconds. <laughs> Go backpacks, go. backpacks. They said in the chat, we still have LA gear. <laughs> oh, they remember this. <laughs> go, go commanders. commanders. Uh, go we're going to skip I'm an Indian. That's not <laughs> Oh, <all>. yeah, right. <laughs> we're going to blow right past that. Washington yeah, Commanders. Senior, senior Oak Barrel, we won't bring back. No, that never happened. <laughs> no. Uh, you can't find that episode. <laughs> Jesus. 
Wow. No, we want Johnny to still work boats. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, all right, let's do a round of is this thing on. If I was going to give you guys each other, how oh, would I do Christ. this? Um, well, we're already doing each other. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you left it. Got Keep your hands you don't up. even know. We're in a relationship. Yeah. Keep your hands under yeah. the table, son. You remember right? no craft and no homosexual relationships among cast members? Remember how those were rules? Remember? They they fell yeah. apart. It's a Ju- new world, old man. July 21st. Uh, <laughs> they be fucking. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Wayne Longmire, if I were to give you somebody, would it be Sam? Could you pull off Sam? Yeah, oh, no. yeah. Oh, I, I, I'll, I'll do my favorite Sam bit. Oh, no. Wait, what? Because one, the question is, do you even know the? The question is gonna be if you know a bit by each other. We all should have. We one. We should have one. But yeah, can yeah. you do it? Is the question. Can you do Sam Damaris Jerry Wayne Longmire? Hold on, hold on. I gotta get myself in that place. Oh so. fuck me. It's a little. Don't snarly. don't do the voice. <laughs> no, no, got to. no got but to. I gotta get in the place. It's a little snarly and kind of okay. black. <laughs> Like Sam. <laughs> that should be on my tombstone, by the way. A little snarly, kind of black. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tangeray, Tangeray, white bitches. All right, here we go. <laughs> Tangeray, Tangeray, white bitches. Wow. That's really funny. <laughs> Every time you have a happy, a happy, uh, a happy situation in your life, people want to commemorate it with cake. No. Yeah. This is my favorite. Why do they do that? Because cake's a happy food, right? You get that stuff at your birthday, you're happy. You get it at your uh, graduation, sometimes there's cake. When you get married, sometimes there's cake. And why do they do that? Because it's happy food. But I don't understand why they give it to you when you're already happy. When you're it's your birthday, you're already happy, right? When you uh, when you graduate, you're already happy. When you get married, you're happy sometimes. Yes! <laughs> it, <laughs> Nobody's ever not happy at cake. Nobody's ever sat there eating a piece of cake like, I'm going to slap the next motherfucker walks in this door. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he did it. Oh, no, I ain't done. No, no he's got more bits. Imagine more, more. this. I'm going to start giving people cake when shit's fucked up. All right, imagine the scenario. You're sitting there in your living room. Your roommate walks in. Why the long face? I lost my job. You get the motherfucking cake. <laughs> you brighten this motherfucker's day. And how much fun is it if you get to go to the banker and go, I want a cake about this size, and I want to say, you didn't need that motherfucking job. No way. <laughs> That's right, honky. I said no way. I don't know why he's a honky. That was racist. <laughs> That's right. Write it down. Write it down, honky. That's good. You got the volume down. <laughs> Oh, how did he sound blacker than you? <laughs> that joke is 17 years 17 old. That's one of my shit. favorites. I love wow. that joke. That joke vote. can vote. That so joke can vote. Yeah, get my cigarettes. That joke can <laughs> vote. That smoke. joke just became trans. That joke might have to. <laughs> not in this shit. fucking state. Not in his house. <laughs> They're old enough to go fight in Russia. That's so Jesus. funny. Jesus, I have not done that bit. I want to say I'm yeah. pretty close. Hey, well, who, oh no, you nailed the fuck out of it. Who can you do? Let's see. Uh, Trey. Me, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I can do Jerry. No, well, I'm gonna make you sit on that one. Hang okay. On. You uh, can do. You're gonna do. You do Trey. Can you do Trey? Oh, I'm not letting anybody do me. Oh, hang on. Oh, that, uh, no, no, here, here's the deal. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we told y'all. We're not as folks. physical to just say. <laughs> <laughs> do a kick, do a kick, baby. No, but good, good, good. Say. The thing about wow. doing Trey is uh, let me repeat that premise again. <laughs> I get to do one of my favorite bits. I call it wishful thinking. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, you learn things about yourself, like uh, I don't like how young I look. Oh, boy. oh shit. <laughs> I don't like how young I look. Like, like I think I, I think I look too young. Cause like the other day I walked past the elementary school and a pedophile followed me home. <laughs> I, I I was just trying to unlock the door. He stared right behind me. Like, hey, you like sour patch kids? Yeah. <laughs> God yeah, damn. I, I had to quit doing shit cause I look too young. <laughs> I had to quit playing basketball, like not 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 because I wasn't good, but like I, I would say I got next and nobody believed me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they be like, who got next? They be like me, like ha! Now who really got next? <laughs> now I was like, no, motherfucker, it's me. I got next. They're like, ah, look, the big kids play on the other end. This. This 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 court is for motherfuckers who got bills. Hey man, I got bills. I, just cause they in your name don't mean they're yours. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a good line. So I, so I go so I go play on the other end with the big kids, and guess who waits for me? 
Uh, you like sour pass kids? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Ah, did I do it? Sir. Did I do it? Yeah, did I do it? That's fucking strong, dude. Strong. Trey I thought Trey was sitting there for a minute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Except with all this gray hair. Anybody do, do one of my bits? Ah! Here we go. Get in the bag, bitch. No. no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I can do it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was, uh, so here, here's the thing. I was having a, uh, it's been a while since, uh, since I've slept with anybody. And, uh, so I met, I met this girl, right? She's a softball player, I think. I don't remember the joke. We, uh, we, anyway, we're back in, we're in the room, and, uh, dude, her eyes, they're, one's going one way, one's going the other. She looks like Trey Tutson. One line, one eye <laughs> looking at the fire extinguisher over here, the other one's looking at Forrest Whitaker's eyes. She had, she's there. And she crossed eyes. That's the point. That's the point. Uh, and, uh, anyway, my, I, I, I was trying to hook up. My buddy told me I should just do it man you need a slump buster if you just go out and bang somebody it'll get you through it and i was like fuck it i'll do it so i hook up with this girl in the eyes and it's looking all this way and she didn't even have an arm not one neither arm they're both missing i don't know what's happening and two mastectomy scars on her knees i don't know how this happened she's hideous <laughs> and we did and i'm finally i'm like you know what that's fucking great and i go hey i go i really appreciate this i'm gonna get out of here uh i just wanted to let you know i had a really good time and she goes oh i don't care if you leave i just hadn't had sex in a while or i hadn't, I hadn't hit, got any hits in the fucking yeah, game and is. i needed a, a slump buster something or another i needed to bang an ugly dude and long story short i fucked your joke up but god damn that, it no oh, yeah. baseball players yeah. use slump buster <laughs> I was trying to remember the punch. Chuck, hey, you know, Chuck used to do the one where he's like, you know that thing at the bank, you know that little tube that shoots the thing up in there? <laughs> so what I do is every time they send me that tube, I take a big hit off my joint <laughs> and I throw it in that box and I send it back to the tube. And I can always see when they have that little faint look of recognition, like 1968 hits them again. And I don't know if they like it, but I get an extra popsicle every time. <laughs> a popsicle? A popsicle. Extra sucker. Popsicle. Extra sucker. Extra sucker. <laughs> Whatever, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck about, Savage uh, had, was like, I fucked this chick. She had Law and Order titties. When you pulled them out, they went, dun-dun. <laughs> 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 I, <used to, laughs> I, I used to do the trick where you flip I the like cigarette. Uh, up, and then one day I caught my hair on fire in a bar. And I started thinking. I was like, oh, I st- uh, what do you remember? What was it? I stopped, drop, and roll. But I was like, no, that's not going to work with my hair on fire. And then I remember pick, roll, and flick. And that's something else completely different. <laughs> And then this girl came up to me and was like, oh, are you okay? And I reached out and I grabbed her tits and she threw a drink in my face and everything was like... <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, I get it. That's it awesome. Ah, that's right. Pick, flicking. Pick, flicking, flicking. pick, roll, and flick. <laughs> I, fucked, I fucked my joke up 30 different <laughs> ways. That's a, Rob, would you like to do anybody at the table? Perfect. <laughs> I don't fucking know anybody. What was that? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> I've never yeah. watched any of you. This is, uh, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. <laughs> you uh, you going to do the voice? Yeah, of course I can All do right. the voice. Voice <laughs> is real easy. My voice is real easy. You just uh, accentuate the first vowel and kill the rest. <laughs> Unless it's a three-syllable word well, and it's a second vowel. I'm surprised you can say that first word. So, <laughs> <laughs> my name's Jerry Way Longmire. That's a mouthful to say. But it's a big moniker that comes with that name, you know? I come from a long line of hillbillies, yeah. Yeah, you can't be president with a name like that. <laughs> Even though hillbillies have been presidents, we've done pretty good. We've done a good job. Two y'all uh, voted that Yankee. The other ones that voted that Yankee in and messed up everything. Yeah. <laughs> Look at some of y'all looking like, which one is that one? Which one is that one? Is a Hawaiian Yankee? I don't know. That's my favorite. <laughs> if you had to go on stage with that act, you wouldn't be an opener. Yeah. <laughs> That's a- <laughs> So why are the Yankee? I don't know. Geography. I don't know. If That's, you had to do Jerry and I had to do Chuck, we'd be fired. By yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I have butchered Jerry's. <laughs> That's my favorite line, though. Is Hawaii Yankee? I don't know. That's so funny to fucking be though. I laugh every time I hear that. From the Northern Island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oahu. It's Anybody got a Rob Mungle bit? That's uh. Oh, don't mind if I do. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Which one? I've known you for 21 years. I can do everything you've ever written. I haven't written a joke in that time, so yeah. <laughs> so both of them. Yeah. I'm going to do the oldest one I know. All right. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am uh, I am originally from uh, Pasadena, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Pasadena, for those of you who don't know, is essentially the holy land, land of white, white trash. trash. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right now, there are white trash in Israel, saying, "Father, when will we go to Pasadena to be with our people?" <laughs> one day, my child. We shall part the mouth Gulf of Mexico and walk into the promised land. Then we shall put broken down appliances in the front of a trailer to ward off the angel of death. <laughs> and then we shall be home. Let my white, white trash, trash go! go. <laughs> I 
That's classic. That's good shit. <laughs> There's a long-standing battle between the white trash and the rednecks over the uh, West Bank of the Ship Channel. <laughs> this dude's out on the front lawn. He's like, this holy land, motherfucker. You better step the fuck off. You better, hey, I, I, I got the hat on, man. You don't want me for the shit. I turn it backwards. It's on now. What the fuck what you going to do? do? What you going to do? What you going to do? Like, That's one word in Pasadena. He <laughs> starts doing it. Oh my fucking god! And that's just my dad. Yeah, that's just my dad. That's uh, I've always been kind of partial to the one that ends with Your Honor. That's my jug of Bigfoot cum. <laughs> oh, I can. She knows what I'm talking about, Your Honor. She knows what I'm talking about. We got to make some flea market. We got to make some flea market. Anyone else here been married and divorced? Married, married, married and divorced by the boss. I was married to what the Jews called a uh, uh, cunt. Uh, <laughs> Lacuntia, I believe, is what it was in Hebrew. Uh, 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 I, I gave up. I gave. Up, I gave everything to get rid of this whore. Everything. I. I gave her the car. I gave her the house. I gave her all the money. Oh, all the fucking money. <laughs> and that was enough. No, 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 no. She went to my lawyer and said, "You know what I want? You know what I want? You know what I want? This is what I want. I want, I want him to go to a bank and get a ten thousand dollar loan, and then give me the ten thousand dollars, and then him pay back the loan." <laughs> That's exactly the giggle I made, sir. <laughs> so I said, okay. As long as we're making shit up, so that's what we're doing. Here's what I want. I want the glowing sword of knowledge for the planet Narnia. I want the stones from Land of the Lost of the Sleeze Legs used to fuck with the weather. And I want a 10-gallon jug of Bigfoot cum. That's what I want. She knows the one. She knows what I'm talking about. You're Fast, right. forward. Right. Fast forward to the trial. <laughs> God, he's Mr. even got Munger. these sides. Fuck, I gotta stop doing that. Mr. Mungo, I see you've listed on your list of assets here a 20 gallon jug of Bigfoot cut. Am I reading that correctly? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm thinking. Are you currently in possession of the Bigfoot cum, Miss Mungo? <laughs> no, 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 sir. No, 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 My, my ex-husband's lying asshole, <laughs> cocksucker. He's coming. He's making fun of you. He's making fun of me. He's making fun of you. He never took me anywhere. There's no time to think of Bigfoot. How am I supposed to get Bigfoot cum? No, no, no. She knows what I'm talking about, Your Honor. We went to a Mexican <laughs> flea market. Got Bullshit! Bullshit! We never went to a Mexican flea market. This is all about you. I'm making fun of you. making fun of me. This is all bullshit! <laughs> I can see why you're divorced. <laughs> I can see why you're divorced with this, Mr. Mungle. And I'm going to award you the Bigfoot cum <laughs> and this imaginary piece of paper that I'm writing on. And by the way, I don't know why this trial is taking place in 1956 to the city. They got them all. Holy shit. I, I, that one was out of order. That one was out of order. No, that's, that's, that's a good bit. Wow. <laughs> great bit. Wow. A great wow. Bit. It is a great bit. I think you need to try another one since you fucked up. But I grew, so oh, I grew up watching you, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, pass him his shot. The first time I saw you, I was 21. I'm 23. I, I don't know. I studied you. Man. I'll do. I'll do. All right, fuck this. I'll do this. I'll do. I'll do one of you. Uh, <laughs> I'll do Trey. Doing Jerry Wayne. No, I'll do. I'll do Jerry Wayne doing Sam. I'll do Trey doing. I'll figure this out. Okay, how many niggas is at the table now? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't ran through all of them. I'll confuse it train. yourself at this it's point. It's a bit, not an orgy. I'm going to do Sam doing Jerry doing Trey. <laughs> Sam doing Jerry doing Trey. Let's see if I can do it. All right, let's see. That's I'll what we talked about asking for. <laughs> I reckon really boats ain't done. real, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That sounds like a super fan with schizophrenia. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon <laughs> boats ain't real, y'all. Uh, uh, all right, so, uh, so, 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 so. Uh, tell me where I dropped that ball. I, I, I want to tell you all this story, but uh, I feel like I should. Uh, Is it the end of the hot topic okay, story? Okay, okay look, it, 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 you ever do something that you're not proud of? Oh, fuck off. But it's so good of a story <laughs> that you can't help but tell it. Like, yeah, I, I would tell you, uh, just, just, I'm not, I said I'm not proud of it. Okay, you asked for it. You asked for it. Remember, six months ago, I beat up a midget. <laughs> Ah, no, no, don't you get your little judgy fucking faces. No, I I told you. Like, I said I wasn't proud, okay? It, it, it's not my fault, okay? I didn't start it, okay? No one goes out and goes and tries to get in three quarters of a fight, all right? Uh, the midget off. started. Oh, I've heard it. It's a John <laughs> Wesley bit, right? <laughs> 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 I beat up a Shetland person. <laughs> Damn. None of us were allowed hey, to uh, Hey, uh, I guess I'll be back next week, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Good run, buddy. <laughs> 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 
Throw the bottles that way. We'll see y'all next week. Whoa. Oh shit! It's been a fun run, <laughs> You did almost a year based on your previous math. <laughs> <laughs> you did almost a year. <laughs> or whatever it was yeah. you said. Woo! All right, that's all the bits, I think. Chuck Savage on bass, Rob Mungle on the microphone. Uh, dear God, y'all make me smile. Oh, that was so funny. Wasn't it? You guys in the chat want some more money? I was on probation for a stretch. Wait, what is the, uh, where did that come from? I can't have, wait, all right, let's go to the chat while, while Sam pulls some money up. Uh, let's see. Best, uh, some of the best memories or something? It's not a cello, it's a bass. It's not muted. It's uh, it's next to us. It is important. Uh, it is not supposed to be lead. We're giving away five one hundred dollar prizes, and Slate can't even have pants off. <laughs> wait a second. Oh yeah, Slate. Wait. Is this the five hundred dollar winner right here? Not yet. No. We no, got no, no, two one hundred dollar no, no, no. winners. Two one hundred dollar winners. There we go. I was on probation. We will. I don't know the end of the hot topic story. <laughs> Sam may or may not get to that later. Chuckles. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers man. Dude, get in, get in, get in, get in. Matter of fact, there's a. Uh, we'll pull you up a stool. There's look up, just on the other side. You can sit right here. <laughs> All right, or lurk. Daniel. Daniel Kotosman. 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 <laughs> you want to know what the really funny thing is? The next name on the clicker was Mark Hurtado. Sherry Wayne Live. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know. I pulled up all I of our fucking subscribers. Subscribe. I just didn't. I didn't kick us out. Um, we can't win, so don't get excited, fuckers. Uh, Daniel Kotosman. Oh uh, I'm not in this thing anymore. Right? Let me go sign up right quick. <laughs> That's a uh, no, Rob. You are not uh, eligible. You know, it's Slay. My name is D.O. Ugly. Oh, no, I ain't got no lice. Don't be worried about that joke. <laughs> <laughs> DL ugly, bro. I will write that the shit yeah. down. <laughs> All right, we got another winner. Uh, that means we have what? One, two. We have another hundred dollar prize and a five hundred dollar prize. And, and the five hundred bucks. And before we pull the five hundreds, we should pull all our alternates uh, for. Okay. The hundred dollar prizes, and then we'll pull two alternates for the five hundred dollar prize. Okay, so how many you want? How many you want for the uh, the, uh, the give me uh, give me all give me an alternate for everyone we give a prize to. Where are you guys at for subscribers? We're not telling you. We want a thousand billion hundred million. So, so wait, just wait. keep doing that. So you want five alternates right now? Uh, yeah. Before no, let's not, they, wait till we get wait till we, to, wait till we get the five hundred dollar winners. Okay, and then we go. pull their alternates, and then we'll pull okay, a five hundred dollar okay. winner. And an alternate. Go okay, that's how we go. P, we got this. Rob's okay. going to pee. Well, go if pee with him. You got. Yeah. It, it's going to be less gay than what y'all have done the last two hours. No, I'm kidding. You can stay. Just wait. He'll no, be back. Let's, let's do the one hundred dollars. Do the five hundred dollars. Because remember, if huh? you win, I take your name yeah, out. Okay, so I don't want to take an alternate out. I got it. We'll do it at the end. Then, then, yeah, we'll do it at the end. All good. Yeah. Episode one thousand. A nice, lovely, awkward little uh, run through whiskey. Chuck, would you like some more? I'm going to pour sure. another one for myself. Trey Tuts and Charita in the back of the house uh, representing New Orleans and Houston and uh, all of the cities we love in the South. Trey, you've been you've been kind of all over the country uh, on the southern side. What is your favorite place to play that's not Houston? Damn. Oh, that's not Houston. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what, man? Shut that. Um, in Washington. State? When you uh, were up Seattle? in Seattle? Big state, yeah. Pro this damn, what the fuck is the name? It's this little small town. Bellingham? Uh, no, no, no. I didn't believe it starts with an R, Auburn. baby. It's a l Auburn or Written? Written, I think. Yeah, it's I think written. it's Written. Boy, this Dog. motherfucker does not know he is following in my footsteps it, hard as fuck. Uh, yeah. No, he's not. He came in third. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it's Written, man. Like, it was a small town. like Hometown of Jimi Hendrix. Dog. It was just they were just awesome, and they were cool after the show. So Auburn, like Auburn's always the clean one. It's in the theater with the red. No, whatever. that ain't it. That's, that's Auburn. So you're talking. That's about Auburn. I'm talking written. I am. Yes. I'm talking written. Yeah. Auburn is the clean one. Man, it was a uh, yeah. That was a uh, that's probably my favorite play. It reminded me of it was like if Austin voted for Trump. That's the best way to describe. Boy, you it. took the both the worst part of two things. Well, it no, just that's what. No, it's about right. No, it, it's like if Austin voted. Meet it this. Meet it. Austin's a for Houston comics. Austin's a very easy city for us to play. It's it's we, comically it's, so. It's literally like it's literally like it's very easy. Yeah. It was in that regard, but it was like, hey, 
you know. But also not so crazy. COVID, what you mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that shit, you believe in that shit? It was that kind of place. I but but a easy crowd. Interesting. Um, no one's wearing masks? Time. No, we were hoods. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Seattle's very, uh, very good, good. good. Or well, Washington was very good. Jerry, welcome back. That's my is, favorite, uh, yeah. We, uh, do we have, uh, before we get to the money, um, are there other subjects that I know we have to address in 1,000? Well, I, I, would, I would like to uh, just, so once upon a time, me and Slay were on the road, and uh, it's been a while. We went to a, uh, we went to a hot topic. And um, well, holy that's shit. how long ago it was. We, I do believe we were in the valley at a at a mall. Yeah, and we went to a hot topic. And uh, so this girl, she comes to wait on us. I, there was a Justin Bieber shirt there, and I was gonna buy it. And uh, let's give away some more money. That's a good idea. I was about to interrupt that story. The uh, I don't want to hear the end of that. You have another hundred dollars to give away. There was a lot. You have another thousand shirt. episodes, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> For, for those uninitiated who just don't know what happened, uh, uh, early on Not there like was a crime, well there was an epi- there was an episode where Sam attempted to tell a story and like all good episodes do uh, we interrupted we him derailed it, yeah. and he he got his butt hurt and then didn't finish the story. He never told it. But but I have a story. he chose not to finish it and then the fans for a thousand episodes like nine hundred seventy episodes have been asking him to finish the story and the problem now is he doesn't know how the story ends. Uh, I do. Well, wait, just can you tell me off air? I've been waiting 800 episodes <laughs> to find out what I'll really. I'll tell everyone in this fucking chat before I tell you, you yappy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I would take that. You and Rob Muggle and John Wesley will never fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> well, just tell, Trey, just tell Trey or Jerry. Yeah. That's uh-huh. <laughs> I still, <laughs> <laughs> I still got friends. Charita, cheers. Real, Jerry, man. cheers to the uh, all the dead and gone. Uh, I'll tell, I'll tell Remember, is there is there an end? Of, this is important. No, I don't want to know. Well, th- you can go. Uh, <laughs> the is there an end of this story? It was. Uh, remember the- we all I remember is there was a hot topic and there was a ladder and the girl had to go up to get a Justin Bieber shirt. So that was it. All right, it was a girl and we were in like Arkansas or some it shit. Was, I okay? thought it was a, yeah, it was somewhere. Ooh. Somewhere I wanted the Bieber shirt. The only ones they had were like medium and smalls, uh, which you would no. think those sell out of his first. Um, and I'm yeah. like, I need an XL. And she goes, the one up there is an XL. And it was a girl who you know, lived in Arkansas. This reminds me of something that happened a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was at a mall. You know, Rob. God damn it, Rob. You've been interrupting <laughs> podcasts for a thousand episodes. It's the first time you got it right. Yeah. That's, <laughs> not- <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a winner. We got a winner. We got a winner. Who is it? 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 Jeff Durham. Jeff Durham. D U R H A M. Hey, Durham. Man. Jeff. I reckon. I, I like what? the last part of your last name. Seven days. Arkansas was. Uh, I love Arkansas because we would have did that. Is that the place with the club owner who's a dickhead? That's the one no, that they flew on a private plane. I ain't talking about that part. Uh, the first. The first. Fl- I'll, let me just say, the first flight was was private and dope and cool. The second flight, I mean that. Whew, that so shit, the dude flew you I himself. Felt, yeah, I felt like a war veteran. Uh, that second, the flight back. Woo! Shit, never again. Excuse me, Lord. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this fucking guy. He's he. Yeah, but he's not perfect, Rob. It's been I two know, weeks. I'm trying. God, right? judge mm-hmm. not, lest ye be judged. Okay, Thank you. judge me. Fuck read, you. read your Bible. What? Right? Rob, you coming to church with me? That's okay. the point. The Bible's the autobiography of Johnny Cash or some shit. You know what I mean? That's a what great ass Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. More truth than that. I'll tell you oh that right now. Goddamn Joe Mud over here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Joe, Joe Lump of Coal. <laughs> Joe Mud. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get mad if it's funny. You know the rules, bro. Yeah, you can't you get mad if it's rules. funny. Rob is, Joe, uh, <laughs> Rob is Joe older than dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel better. It's like when the fatter kid got picked on in the playground. Show <laughs> 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 all the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny, dude. Can't get mad if it's funny. Can't get mad if it's funny. I can't hear anything anyway. <laughs> 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 he said, can't get mad anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> no, it made me think about uh the time Will Lo- Good Will Load Good Will Load messed up a, a train for us. We we was all out in. Uh, did yeah. I ever tell this? Well, hang on. You looking time? at me saying us, and I'm gonna need you to figure oh, out. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> what did I miss? Wait, wait, wait. You wouldn't run a train with us? Us? We couldn't do a whiskey brothers train together. No. Say Wh- whatever you. What, Who's going last? I feel. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm I feel like I'm you. Do, I feel like you just defined us like it mattered. <laughs> Like the royal, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like the other things where the, you know what, like they, they uh, Why could we not? We're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you know, at, at, at best it's whiskey brothers in law. Okay, so it's <laughs> no blood relation. <laughs> I don't know. You watch Blues Brothers two thousand? Like they were allowed to mix it up a little bit. No. Oh. No one watch movies. So, I think you go last. You used to fuck in a room full of people. I am. It's very. I'm very comfortable with group sex. It's no problem. I'm gonna go first, and y'all call me tomorrow. (laughs) Of course. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Don't let him go last, cause he'll go long. He'll blow through the light. (laughs) He'll run the light. And I won't. (laughs) Y'all gonna be here all night. That's really funny. I'm gonna go first, do a respectable amount of time, and then I'm gonna (laughs) jump. That's funny. We should introduce each other in the train. Oh, we got we got we got a tag team it. Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I tell you, Chuck? Can I tell him a funny women story about you way before you were married back in the olden days? Uh, I have no idea what this guy's talking about. But sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so sure. let's just say I'm lying. There's this dude named Chuck, and one night he shows up to laugh stop while I'm bartending. And he's like, "Hey, I got these two chicks with me," and I'm like, "Oh, cool." And he's like, "Yeah, man, they're good to go." And I'm thinking, "Oh, we're gonna hook up with these two chicks, right?" And so I get to looking for Chuck, and he's disappeared. And I look, go back and find him. He's hooking up with one of the chicks. And I was like, oh, cool. It must be another one's mine. So I go back out there. I'm tending bar a little bit. And all of a sudden, I notice Chuck has disappeared with the other chick. <laughs> <laughs> go back there. Of course not. I don't know what this guy's talking about. I got left out of the equation. That's what I'm saying. Bro, <laughs> oh, Ro- road threesomes are scary. You're not things. even a variable. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was the remainder. Yeah. What he was. <laughs> I had a ticket for the train, but it was not valid. <laughs> <laughs> Sam would take his turn and go sell merch. <laughs> Bro, I lived in L.A. for five years. I'm good with doing a tight three. <laughs> <laughs> or a loose three. He'll do either one. Hey, can one. I jump the list? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Rob's trying to bump in. Like, can I bump the list? <laughs> <laughs> Sam doesn't care how his I, uh, dick fits in the three. <laughs> Well, I've been three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Look I here, Sh- it. Shannon, we got a guest spot. <laughs> 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 we got a guest spot. This guy's going to come in and do a type five. He promised to do a type five. I got no It'll spell. be just like when I do comedy. I'll be like, can he perform that drunk? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that last 10 minutes was awkward. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to need to see a tape. I need to see a tape for you guys. Each other. Yo, you closed that motherfucker. <laughs> We murdered before you, and you closed that shit out. Is this motherfucker out front selling merch? <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. Oh, that's so funny. No, dude. Uh, anyway, oh, Jesus. Christ, Goodwill, Lord, he he messed up a train for us. This girl was clearly like. He right? This was gonna be a real thing. Oh, bro. This is to check this out. Wait, talk to me about a girl who's into you and Will Loden. <laughs> check this who's out. Who's the other dude? Check this out. A loose she three. She wasn't. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> a loose three. Loose three. A loose three. A loose three. <laughs> what got out? <laughs> who, who left the gate open? <laughs> <laughs> All right, a three got loose. Come we got back, a loose three. Back. We got a no, loose three. No, dude. <laughs> she wasn't even into us. <laughs> oh, no, the Australian Shepherd will bring her back. She wasn't even into us. She was into Grady Pruitt, right? Okay. So we had did a loose two. A loose <laughs> <laughs> she had a loose cannon. We not so, even sure she's out. She's bro, we're, we're doing. We did the show. We all do it fine. Everything's great. We go over to this bar. And it's the middle of the pandemic, so it's like there's one or two spots that's open, and they're only staying open till like ten. She's only she's got one three. Of them. <laughs> she's, one of them. <laughs> she's one of them. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> Just caught that. <laughs> you're, the, you're the one with the threesome with Will Loden and Grady Pruitt. I don't yeah. fucking, Jesus. So, how do you even figure in that match? So, regardless, this even if you just find out that that's what she's into, sight unseen, you just got to check out, right? She, no, no, no. She looks no, I good. Think it's crazy that like, she looks she's good. looking at the smallest guy for the girth. So. <laughs> 
That's fucking hilarious. Tread lightly before this becomes the next hot topic. He, I want to know how this Sorry. ends. So, <laughs> no, that's funny. No, we, we'll come back to that. We'll have that girth conversation in a second. No, but, uh, no, we won't. No, we won't. I think it's funny that Will's the one that checked out. Like, so, no, oh, oh, shit. No, no. Here he, here he blows it. So, this is what happens, y'all. We go, we do the show. Everything's good. We go over, go to this next bar. We go to the bar. The girl's being flirty, you know, because she's interested. She's flirting with Grady mostly. And, uh, no, he's fine. <laughs> he's going to get more racist. I'm trying to get through this story. He might yell out, nigga, hurry up. Hey, I encourage <laughs> that. It makes me look better. You say hurry up? <laughs> hurry it up. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. <laughs> Damn, this story is an underground. She used to have a railroad. It's an underground story. No, so. Back to the so, train or railroad. Or the so that was the name of the train they ran, the underground railroad. Yeah. See what I mean? The shot. He See, didn't even do it that, yet. He didn't even, you poured it and he got racist. <laughs> Malcolm Triple X. Let's have some wild shit. <laughs> you, 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 you run a train with <laughs> trains really and underground railroad. <laughs> yeah. Rob, you poured the shot. He's like, these Jews. <laughs> anyway, uh. So. <laughs> I make fun of you not because you're black, because you're shit, Christian. But he really should hear the end of this. <laughs> oh shit! I keep. Oh, oh shit! Fuck. Not for the color of his skin, but you the can... content of his character. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll drop the loading. I... <laughs> <laughs> welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Yeah, and Grady blew it. Let's do no! this. Let's. let's... <laughs> Come on. Fuck. Come on, everybody! That's solid. That's solid. Fuck! Man, we should record. It took this. me a minute to get there. <laughs> solid. And Trey, Trey was just trying to put his touch in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Fuck. man. Fuck you, Sam. Fuck you. Y'all got it. <laughs> I can't do that. He's laying out Sam Demerits over here. <laughs> this is going to be the next Bieber. Sam That's what Demerit. fucking teamwork looks like, baby. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got faith that one of you will. You piss or you waste? <laughs> I'm, I'm wasting shit. I know you older than the motherfucker. You got kids. Rob did the motherfucker. Y'all want me to finish this? Yes. Oh, I don't know what happened. Yes. Okay. As long as one of you finishes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, none of them finished. Don't sound Man, like a good story. The girl's flirty. All, I don't know what happened. But good looking, right? She's good looking. Very, I'm not lying. Black or white? White. Okay. And Blonde I, and or I, brunette? And I don't really know how Blonde, to, brunette, or redhead? Uh, I don't. What, what's the mix? Blondette? I don't fucking know. So dirty blonde. 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 No. Dirty blonde. Dirty blonde. No. That's what it's called. Dirty no, blonde. Really nice, really nice looking girl. Man, How old? How old? Probably about 26. Okay. 25, 26. Flirt with Grady. Ask too big for Slade? No, just right. All right. So I, I, I'll say this. I'll say this. <laughs> I'll say this. All of us would fuck her. It'd be my first. It'd be, it'd be me breaking my, my white cherry. Uh, you. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> She, actually, she'd be too small for Sam. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. <laughs> you like whiskey because they remind yeah. you of the I white one. Well, Jerry, too, Jerry's out now, too. She's too small oh, for yeah. Sam. I don't even. Yeah, he, right. <laughs> Unless I'm first, I'm out. This is literally a y'all thing. Yeah, he's, <laughs> Tell your story. Robbie blowing. Spin, spin him on. Spin him on. <laughs> yeah, Rob. Chuck's still in. Rob's still varying. Rob is still Rob would love What's her feet look like? Rob would love her because she's as thin as the lines he snorts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds fucked up. That's low blow. Yeah. Literally, he does. Why are you gonna say blow? Low, I know it's a low blow. Literally, yeah, don't blow and he does fat lines. Don't fucking talk him down. <laughs> hey, Jerry Wayne, long story. Hold on a minute. Here. <laughs> We're not done. Damn, I'm glad Rob said it. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, Jerry, this, this, this. Oh wait, this, wait, y'all not fucking anymore? This, no, not, not anymore. Not anymore. No. You look like he's sleeping on the couch. He it's did. Not. He gave me a dirty look. Sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry this story don't begin at a work site. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think it did. I think it did. I think it did. That's where most trains end up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thousand episodes this was the of this. Best. This is the so, so, all right. So, bro, the girl's flirt with Grady. Out of nowhere, we just hear her say, it's hard to breathe when you got a dick jam down your throat. <laughs> That's what she says. Wait, but what, what, where were y'all when this was we're said? We're in the bar. We're in that Just bar and bought the clothes and shit. Literally, that's hanging the out. only time that's what she said was relevant <laughs> to a fucking story. In the history, in the history of that saying, 
<laughs> it was the only time that's no, ever I mean, been that's relevant. That's actually what she said. <laughs> <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually what she said. She said. <laughs> but she <laughs> said it sans dick. There yeah, was no dick in the, She wasn't like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was like. She was like, it's hard to breathe. So Grady flirted and well, what do you got, asthma? And then Will goes, do you want some asthma? And then I said, do you want black asthma? Like, we're, we're hitting this shit. Oh. I wonder why she checked out. Bro, no, no, they say no. there's no black superheroes. No. You she would, didn't check out. I've heard you, the story. Would you not watch Black Asthma if it came out? On- <laughs> it should be the first comedy CD this title sounds, for sure. That sounds like a police yes. brutality thing. I've heard no. the story black from three <laughs> different perspectives. She <laughs> ain't the one that checked out. Two of them are his. This sounds like the worst story of three dudes trying to. Damn. Hold on, wait. Let's say Damn. It. Let, that's a good what line. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was you good. need your knuckle rings That's on. That's why he's that. the host. Wait, <laughs> Sam, Sam got something, Slade. This sounds like the worst the, the, the story of, uh, the worst story of three dudes trying to pun smash. <laughs> pun smash. Pun smash. She checked was, out uh, because y'all had bad puns. No, that ain't what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it, so anyway, man. We touching his leg. So we for? because yours is way over there. <laughs> 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 Rob, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Chris, Rock, Chris Rock said a man is only as faithful as his options. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I Mark used. Lynch, Mark Lynch you know says what? Black he Asthma is 100% coming on CW in the fall. <laughs> 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 hey. It's, no, Black it's, Asthma is coming on Jerry Wayne in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda Black, and Hitler. Black Asthma. <laughs> Black Asthma. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, fuck. God oh, damn. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got jealous for a minute. Oh, oh, go ahead. He's just touching God. That's all right. Oh, I can't breathe. It's the counter to uh, the good doctor. <laughs> so, uh, so, I didn't fuck this whore? All right, this way. I'm trying slate. to get through it. You motherfuckers are too funny. Oh, so, won't loading in you are. So, where's it? Right? Won't load. So, we get outside. It's over with. They shutting the bar down. Everybody go home, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we go, all right, so what's finna happen? So the girl starts yelling out, well, all right, y'all, hotel party. <laughs> so me and Grady look at each other like, oh, yes. So the girl's like, yeah, hotel party. Well, it's Will's room. So we're like, hey, Will, Jamie Lynn here. What, that was her name. <laughs> of course it was. Because like she sounds like Louisiana white yeah. trash. Beers. We, she would like to have a hotel party. Will goes, Ah, dude, it's like my dad's points and shit. So I, you know, I'm just trying to. Hey, Will, she wants to have a hotel party. Then he just does this artistic stare, like he just starts looking down the road, for like freezes up, and then he just walks off. He says, "Fuck it," and just walks off. So me and Grady are standing like I don't know, like what the fuck happens. The girl gets I mean, in the guys, car. We're trying to we're trying to fuck this girl in Will's apartment. The, He's being a dick about it. This girl. The girl gets in the car with the cock block that's been cock blocking the whole time, drives away. We'll come back with some stupid story. This lady's got one, two. Hey, Will, shut the fuck up. Wait, one tooth? <laughs> one t- yeah, he's, you know, because he go, he is a place called Thunderbird or some shit like that where they sold liquor. It was like the only thing that was open till midnight. But that's she, what he told me. He told me he was going yeah. to get okay. liquor. So, Chuck has the same question I do. How did she have? How many huh? teeth did she actually have? Who? The lady? Half a sick? We no, never he's not, saw. He's, he's not talking about the girl they're trying we to fuck. We're talking about Jamie Lynn. He's talking about the girl who's looking like kind of Will kind of left. Kind of. I'm going to get to the point. Will left to go get liquor, but he didn't communicate that he was going to. He didn't communicate, I'm going to go get the liquor so we can, you know. Have the hotel party? We can do a, yeah, we can have a hotel party. I'm about to come party. back to a room with two we dudes can, and a girl. We can quarter Cosby this bitch. So he <laughs> he didn't fucking. Quarter Cosby. Quarter Cosby. Cosby. Oh, yeah, sorry. So he just he just leaves. He just stares and just walks off. So the girl thinks that we're not interested. So yeah. she's gone. So when he come back, and hey, one, two, Will, shut the fuck up. You just ruined the train for us. Like, you just ruined it. How did I ruin it? We explained the whole situation. We're dogging him the whole Y'all time. Y'all like, we were going to see each other's dicks. It's the only thing that makes me miss my wife. I called her and said, hey, Will just blew a train for us. Put that motherfucker on the phone. How uh, dare you blow a train for my husband? Yeah, uh, that's the only thing that made me miss her. But <laughs> she was really upset about it. Well, 
real key to the story was when you said that Will was using his daddy's points for the fucking <laughs> hotel room right there. He didn't have no fucking money. He couldn't pull your fucking scam off to get this pussy running. Blew it. God Blew it for us, Chuck. That's about how we're old, I think. Had it. I, I don't even know Will, but I, I feel sorry for the bro. He didn't have no cash. I mean, What's hey, up? shit, something got blown. Something. Did he, did, he, <laughs> did he come back with liquor? Nobody no one came at all. No. No He's all their clothes, blah, blah, blah. So we just we just all jerked off simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean these beds was, we just push you know together. What? That's the same. It wasn't a circle jerk; is. it was a triangle jerk. <laughs> At the high top, <laughs> clearly exactly Still how the high top ended. Dicks. She was on the chair. She was on the ladder. We, Everybody yeah. jerked off simultaneously. <laughs> you ever had somebody blow a train? It blew that train like Bush and Stun Dance. So Fuck. I so when you say train, that 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 involves more than one guy. Right, which is where I sexually so check out. nobody's blown that for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, I've, not, I've, never been, I've never you been ain't never had, Hold on, wait. We got to x slave this. Oh. You ain't never. You are the most fucked person at this table. Uh, probably. And you ain't never had, you ain't never had no. group sex? Yes, but not with dudes. Not the devil's threesome? Oh, no. No, no. I just mean you ain't never been in an orgy. You ain't never been in an orgy. You. Define orgy. <laughs> you orgy built. Define orgy. orgy. There's cocks and pussies. There's yeah, it's everywhere. Everybody's fucking everybody. Okay, yes, but not with other dicks. I feel like you'd, you'd be in an orgy with a hoodie on. How many? But hang on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's your mom's because the bitch is, she likes it cold. She likes it cold, bro, and that's not, that's that's dark. <laughs> that's, I got hoodie. really cold. What? <laughs> <up>? <laughs> I feel like after all these episodes, I could take his dad. Call him like Eminem one like goddamn he time. He's got a hoodie on like he's the fucking unifucker. No, it was <laughs> the January 6th shit with the dude with the arm out in the pulpit. Wait, 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 wait. Say that line again. He's got a hoodie on like he's the unifucker. <laughs> Bro, I play poker like... <laughs> Can't be the unifucker in a group sex situation. <laughs> like, he would be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. He hey, bro. Would be the bro. Hot one. He, he feel a dick on his calf. Hey, bro. Bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, slave. Bruh. Hey, bro. Dude, Dude uh, you put get, your pants get beat up in his house and he froze. Ben in the chat says he will get a two of black, a tattoo of black asthma if you draw it up. So if you draw up a character named Black Asthma, bro, you will get another ink on ben someone's Creed body. Ben is getting Black Asthma tattooed on his body. Hit up Adam Harmon. Get him to draw Black Asthma. I'm going to draw the rough no, draft. No, he says Slade has to draw it I'm gonna up. Draw, I'm going to draw the draft, and then I'll get Adam to clean it up yeah. to make it look like a tattoo. Uh, By the way, Ben Creed one of the OGest of OGs wow. that we've got. Uh, on Can, this speaking podcast. of OGs, Stickers, right? while we're talking about Adam Harmon, uh, everybody who wins a hundred or five hundred dollars, we're going to throw in some. Uh, Adam Harmon has done some spectacular artwork for the podcast, and his tattoos are incredible. And uh, it, it weirdly got me why. And I'm very curious about this because I don't watch a lot of junk TV, but sometimes at night I'm all about just like, what do I fall asleep to? Yeah, I've been watching Space Force at your recommendation. Oh, I love uh, it. The first season great, was spectacular. Great, I, great, the second great. season I'm into. I'm di- it's better than Steve the first. Carell, Carell's and good. John Malkovich. That's together, God, crazy yes. Dog. Together, yes, yes. Incredible. Awesome combo. But I've also uh, because it was next to it, I watched Ink Master with. Uh, uh, Dave uh, Dave Navarro's Navarro. tattoo yeah, show, yeah, yeah. and it got me. I was really like, the last couple I've been watching, I'm like, man, that's really some. These motherfuckers are dumb. Yeah. <laughs> they get, they'll just let you put whatever on your body, and it's just there forever. Ever? Yeah. Randy Lee has a vending machine in his shop where you put twenty five dollars in, and you turn it like the old. And then school he'll just the tattoo novelty, whatever falls out. And whatever's in that fucking thing is what you get. And, and by people the way, line up to do it. By the way, <laughs> when when they gave Caitlyn Jenner Woman of the Year, Dave Navarro must have been pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his eyeliner oh, is so on point. Him and Chris Carmen Angel Electra are the two prettiest dudes him. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Only because Prince died. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, when Prince died, Dave Navarro was like, it's me! You know, like Justin Caitlyn Bieber Jenner. lately? <laughs> Not since episode three. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> You know, He's getting got a story about Last him. time I saw him, he looked like a fire the grouper. Big one. Yeah. Right, well, hang on. We got one more. Hang on. Have we done yeah. one, two, three, four? All right, we've already <laughs> given those away. All right, this is 500 then. Let's do. Oh, shit. Guys, are you ready? Free Guy and Kingsman were. Okay, I watched Free Guy. I liked it. All right, here we and go. Then, this is where like, we like, lose when, the when, when, we, when, we, uh, when we end the episode, we can do all the alternates who can come in. And yes, we will. Stuff. We'll ring them. Uh, we're let me do say. Five alternates for uh, 100, and we're going to do three alternates for 500. Let me say uh, Let me say what's up to some people in the chat. Uh, uh, Amber Arden, hello, uh, Irish Angel. It has been many, You're many years. Fat. 
You're no, not I'm trying to tap your ass. Hold up, Chris. As you said, the King's Man was mad. Oh, what I, fucking movie? Did you I haven't watch? watched that one yet. Peacekeeper was fantastic. Whoa. Daniel, uh, I still don't like you, but the rest of them uh, are getting on it. Um, let's see. <laughs> he's gonna message get message retracted. Of course, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, he and I butt heads so much. He says the most asshole shit. All the time, and I just don't respond to it. And then he gets whatever. These are all matter. tattoos. Um, yeah, they yeah, all could be. He says asshole shit because he's a fan drawing. of yours. All right. So no, Ayers. Uh, so <laughs> pour yourself a shot. We're gonna do the five hundred dollar give. If you are in the chat right now, you have a chance to win this. Here we go. Let's do it. Boom. Okay, he has hit. Good. He has hit spin on five hundred dollars. And it goes to going to a fan named Chuck Savage. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> last, Sam Damaris. Last ditch last effort. Last ditch effort. Okay. Last ditch effort. Last ditch effort. Ditch ditch effort. Oh, last effort. ditch effort. Um, dude, it was one oh, away from Rachel's being Brandy YouTube Reeves, name. who I really <laughs> wish would have wanted. Uh, Brandy yeah, Reeves is a great. Person. Last ditch effort. Uh, Amber, it's very good to talk to. You. It's it's very cool Thank to see God. people in here. Uh, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a list of alternates. We're gonna draw all of those live. Uh, you're gonna want to yeah. So keep that close. Uh, Chuck Savage is our guest. Rob Mungle is back in the studio. God, as it's so good to see Chuck, man. I missed the fuck out of you. It's I good to. I just Chuck miss Savage, you, the uh, my the favorite I, people. Oh, can I ask a question? Why, you can ask a question. Why does he get to call you fat, but I can't? Because he's known me long enough. <laughs> because him and you Chuck ain't fucking. <laughs> That's like the N word with y'all two. Right? So. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> he knew me when I was less fat. He didn't call you fat. <laughs> he just implied you've been eating a lot. That's a that's 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 fair. And I love him like a brother, and he knows. Fucking well, I love him like a lover. So what? What is it? <laughs> well, fuck it, then you got me there. <laughs> Rachel well, calls me fat. There's gonna be to a problem. All of you in the comments. <laughs> to all of you in the comments. If I ever hear one more comment about me and Slade again, I'll slap the shit out of you. <laughs> We're done. We don't even talk anymore. You guys are fucking. <laughs> You cocksuckers! What are you talking about? <laughs> well, the the, the difference is, is, is it bothers you two. <laughs> oh yeah, we well, yeah, because we're it. straight. <laughs> yeah. that under the table if you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Word you all. No, y'all lean into it. You back up into it. Y'all do all of it. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, we we both resent our fathers. It's so a new <laughs> world, gentlemen. <laughs> Just don't blow them. We need you for more episodes. It's 2022, and as long as we don't change uh, genders, you gotta, you the gotta governor's let not coming after You got to let him have that with Jimmy. <laughs> he said, don't blow him. We need you for more episodes. <laughs> you suck his dick. Inside die. joke, by the way. People, people we have need died you to Apple be here. <laughs> men have, specifically men, have died from sucking my dick. That's how homophobic my face. That's how homophobic my dad was. He was like, "Lord, if anybody what ever what kind of podcast is this? <laughs> anybody ever sucks my son dick, I want them to die." I, I was shocked too. <laughs> That's my best Bob Bigger step, by the way. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's so funny. Enjoy, guys. I, uh, yeah, I was going to be here. I was going to be here, but I couldn't be here. So, uh, Guys, you've yeah. done a fine job here. Rob. That was an episode, so I'm leaving. Rob, we appreciate you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Oh, you uh, go make chill. We're wrapping up. We're going to do uh, We're gonna do a few more things. we got to get some alternates and say bye I'm to some sorry. folks. Are you cooking tonight? Yes. Hey, y'all. Uh, no, no, no. Not tonight. Sorry. All right. What's tonight? So we don't have to come see you. You're not making food for us tonight? No, God tonight. damn it. That's why we're hungry. Hey, man, while you do your stuff, I'm going to start sneaking out, too. But I want to tell you, I was really moved when you guys invited me to your 1,000th episode. It means a lot to me. Thanks. Chuck, oh, thank you're, you, Chuck, Chuck, your family, your alumni, you're, uh, you're, 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 you're always welcome here. So and I've, ne I've never cared for any of you. Cheers. <laughs> Turn your mic off. Chuck You're Savage, <laughs> the Can right I? Reverend Robert L. Mungle, uh, left at the table, Slade Ham, Sam Damaris, Jerry Wayne Longmire, Trey Tutson. Slade. Okay. Yes, sir. Just so y'all know, we, we ain't plugged April 2nd yet. Not even one. Dude, I mean, two hours we've been uh, here, and we ain't said. I'm I'm gonna gonna have a fact, I think, I think this is the perfect time little. to do it because of the right. fact little. that... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm in, uh, looking oh, at fighting. I think yeah, if yeah. the last fucking hour and a half didn't make you want to come see us on April second, come on, you, you should have stopped at come. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we have a we have a whiskey brothers show April second. Uh, we're gonna all split the money. You're welcome to come to a guest. Can spot. you cook? <laughs> Pour that bitch in my glass. Fuck we you. we Fuck have a you. show April second. Duke Shinobu. He can throw you. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, he can throw his back out on his way to picking me up. Ah, oh, fuck shit! Goddamn, black is heavy. You say. <laughs> 
It's fast and heavy. Well, that oh, last part hit me. Jesus immediately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh God. So here's what I know going forward, and we should talk uh, candidly with the fans. There's a lot going on in the Whiskey Brothers world. We have post 1,000. Uh, past this, I don't care if I miss an episode. You I guys, this was the last one. This is it. We're done. Okay. Uh, now, if you guys want to do a version two, are we uh, doing more? Fuck. That'll be wild. This is, the mic we it, show up and it's just looking. <laughs> Oh, it was Will at the threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fuckers, I got. Hey, Will, I love you, brother. Like a brother. I got diabetes at nine seventy. Like, how long are we gonna keep going? Damn. It's a, it's a. I've, yeah. So, so we've done a thousand. We will continue to do them. To those asking about the tour, uh, Dylan specifically up north. If we do it, we're gonna come do Steel City Arts Foundation. Uh, Fuck that's a, yes. that's a for sure go. Uh, and we're going to crash some other parties on the way up. Uh, there will be lots of opportunities oh, to catch us. Uh, a closer, baby. April 2nd, Dukes and Humble. How, wait, uh, at well, some point, at leg. some point, those chairs are going to bump <laughs> into one another. No, we're good. This is tight enough. It's, <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, uh, close our, enough. Our <laughs> better <laughs> close enough. Some moisture. Oh, that's how you whatever. <laughs> See, this is progressive. This Absolutely. is what we're saying. You this guys the are the new house version 20, of us. Twenty twenty-two guys. Yeah. This is the new wave, y'all. Fun house. We are the here. NFT version of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, man. they don't fudge. We fudge. We fudge. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we're the NFDs, the no <laughs> fucking dudes. <laughs> we're fungible <laughs> as a motherfucker. <laughs> that can't be an episode right, title. Right. Hold up, I gotta. <laughs> 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 I can't even do that shot. I'm afraid to do that shot. I know. I'm waiting on I, you to do it so I can drop this next line. No, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta move. Your You'll thighs never are sweaty as fuck. Bro. It is. That one's real hot. It it's is hot as a bitch in here. Ooh, I think no, it's because of Mungle. Trey's no. afraid it's gonna make his denim dark. Yeah. No. <laughs> his thighs feel like a car wash. <laughs> no, no, don't want the AC to make a hum in the mic. <laughs> That's my nickname is Mr. Car Wash. Mr. Car Wash. <laughs> Mr. Car Wash. Mr. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Car wash. Why? A lot of black dudes didn't work you? <laughs> Sometimes I'm funny. <laughs> no, because it cost him $20 to pull the rag out. <laughs> right? <laughs> Two on that one. Oh, my oh God. God. <laughs> oh, I wish I had said that. Right. God damn, that was good. Come, <laughs> come see us April 2nd. At, uh, what's yes. It, what's it, what's it, Dukes what's and Humble. If y'all uh, wanted to see us do this to each other in person. Oh, God. Uh, not that. I mean, like, but the other <laughs> stuff. The uh, we, we there's so many chances to catch us. If you we there are going to be so many live shows. We're doing a lot of stuff. We're talking about. Uh, I don't know for sure the fruition of this, but a quarterly show at the Improv that is a Whiskey Brothers presents. Uh, we are moving that ball forward. We have so many different things that we're involved in. And if you guys are watching sketches, comedy, podcast, uh, different shows, we're doing giveaways. Uh, we've given away 500. Fi did we give the 500 away? Yeah, we yes, did we did. So now we got to pick the alternatives. Uh, last ditch effort. The winner of that. That, uh, so many, so many, so many people to thank. Uh, all right. Are you any got, of the winners in the chat? Or I'm excited? not. Uh, you know, it's there's there's thousands of people, so I don't really know what to. So, so let's uh, do the let's do the ten alternates. Five. The f okay, five, five, six, right. five, six, five plus three, six. right? Five plus three. So eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do this other, Five I'm gonna do this other shot as what we decide how to get. What the fuck is wrong with? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what the fuck's wrong with Jerry? Okay, okay well, so you, you did that inside of my knee. That's an erogenous You did that zone. thing where you get him comfortable with expecting the touches, and then you don't touch him when he's expecting it, and he ghost <laughs> flinches. <laughs> <laughs> Charita, Charita, you come sing that. Sing, come, come, over, come around here. I'm a, we're gonna no. Come around here. That's this one side. Of my you come around here, yeah. Adam. <laughs> I want the camera directly on Jerry and and, and Trey, okay. and uh, just get, give them that microphone. Give her that microphone, and uh, you just sing while they look deeply into one another's eyes. And I do okay. this shot and try not to throw up. This yeah, is I'm like do, Fear Factor. I'm gonna do my best Jerry. without UFC. I'm gonna look at you in the eyes as best I can. <laughs> They're both pointed at me. Pick just one. Just don't hit me like my daddy used to. That's a wrong song. If love and you is wrong, I don't want to be right. That is, that is 100% what that song is about. Did you know that? Wait, what? So the dude that sings okay, that we're song good is hey, gay. So that song, Wait, if love and you is wrong, I forgot, nigga. My, I asked my grandfather. He knows. Did you just N-word me? 
<laughs> he did. And, and brother, you officially officially <laughs> <been> <laughs> like that's the first time he's done it. No, I, I, I yeah, can't you. I'm just, I'm, my brain <laughs> receives. If loving you is wrong, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got back to other stuff. <laughs> you can't put oh. slurps. Yeah, you, you can't can fully artist your own music I'm video. Trying yeah, I'm yeah, trying to lure him into killing himself. <laughs> you tr- him or me? This it's gonna be him first, bro. I can I, ride this plane. I will take that gun from his hand. <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> That's he was, why, you like the skeet noise? I was alive in the nineties. I did why, cocaine. Why I've you like? He likes the skeet noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I love it. Fucking. You ever heard it come out? Charita's heard it come out. You've heard it come come out. Okay, y'all are dark. Ah, to you so guys in the our chat. first what? alternate, by the way, is oh, my the fastest N247 car. And I remember car is the maiden name. Is that your fucking wife? No, nah, it's a little birdie on YouTube. Uh, N247 is, uh, that's a mass uh, no, mass effect yeah. joke? Uh, name? I don't know. Let's go to the chat and let's get these guys. Uh, what's up, Brandon two. Silva? Well, hey, man. No in case you ain't got to type money. yo 75 times to get a hello. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about you today. I was over at... Uh, the new thing, we haven't talked about this, the new music for the podcast. Uh, we're going to do a new intro. Johnny Cash. Marzi Manazari. Oh, okay. He is going to, Marzi is you know, going I to. I grew up with Marzi. Yes. Uh, Chuck Savage. Bye, Chuck. Time out. Time out. Chuck said he's doing the new music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can you jam? Oh, shit. We got he wrote it. the Outlaw Dave song. I know. Uh, was the music director of the Whiskey Brothers the entire fucking time I was in there. And so I want to talk to you guys about this before you do it because I got a new album coming out. Oh, shit, it's Chuck. going to drop and I could take some of the music oh, out yeah. of that and give it to you for free. Well, well yeah, yeah okay. Let's okay. okay. talk about free music. Sorry, Marzi. But Mar- hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We will talk about this because Can Marzi Mar- play guitar on it? Me, I want you, hang on. I want you and, we're going to do a jam piece. We're going to make this work. Yeah, we're going gonna to do something unique that has never happened before. Ladies and gentlemen, I was leaving, and yeah, I heard this thing happen. And I We're going to do this. Wait, you have a new album coming out. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, Chuck I do. Savage, do you want to plug it? Cool, man. Well, yeah, oh, I no. was going to plug it later on another episode when I called you later and said you're going to bring me back and plug well, it on a different you're episode. You're certainly Ch- Chuck's like, I've d- I drank all the whiskey, so I'm not going to pimp the episode. I'm, uh, I'm that guy. You, are, no, 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 you have a new album coming out, and I we're going to pimp the shit out of it. We'll bring you back, and we'll just jam out, and exactly we'll talk about it. About. But when we do the intro music, we're gonna let's let's talk about it. I can give you some stuff that's already produced. So let's, let's talk about how we produce that, that way. Yeah. Then it's done and so done. You need to talk to me. And I guess and, we got and, Chuck playing and bass. So the point is, Trey. Chuck, what kind of way, soap Trey, you use? Way, <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Stronger we never Trey, met. Sorry. I knew all these assholes, but I don't, I don't know you. <laughs> so tonight, I came Chuck. here and I told you, I said, man, I know who you are. Chuck. But here's the fucking thing. Chuck. Chuck. Let him do white people drunk shit. Together, it's going to be good. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck I'm not gay for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my. I was addicted to threesomes at one point. Get the fuck off me, Chuck. I appreciate you. This motherfucker's ill. God damn. My asshole clinched up so goddamn. Wait a minute. Oh, I could tell. He's up there. <laughs> yeah, that's OG shit right there. He's Bro, a- you ever tried to make me uncomfortable for a thousand episodes? Let this motherfucker yeah. have a one. And Trey's over there making buttons in the seat. <laughs> yeah. You made the wood bend. <laughs> I'll quit fucking around. I want to help you guys with the soundtrack. Chuck, we're going to. You are the music director. God damn it, Chuck. Done. It's done. Buck Savage, everybody. Buck, Buck Savage. Savage. Jerry, we're going to have that conversation. <laughs> it's a fun night. Cheers. <laughs> All right, we got to pull off to this, you guys. <laughs> Woo! Jerry Wayne felt the clinch, they said. <laughs> I love that. His I love knees it. grabbed <laughs> my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Trey's knees locked around my left knee like... Bro, hey, they called it the reverse Oreo. Stand up for me. The reverse Oreo. That is strong. Him grabbing on you went from sexy to security. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker looked like an owl got pushed out of its nest. Motherfucker looked like a baby koala. He looked like. <laughs> I'm sorry I gave you up so quick. <laughs> oh, shit. You wrapped up like you were trying. <laughs> It's, it fell out of the, it fell out of its Jerry, hole. Jerry, he uh he's stronger than you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Chuck's a force. He's of like, nature. you look like you. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to suck his dick twice. <laughs> That's where I gotta back down and be like, all right, <laughs> be wow. I'm still here. You got a new boyfriend. <laughs> you Sorry. look like you need a shower and a hotline. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to wash all that day off. <laughs> <laughs> Next oh! up, 
<laughs> All right, let's get our five. Let's get our alternates. Let's get our alternates Ooh, while we got you guys God. on the yeah, Jesus we Christ. We killed that stuff. bottle. What didn't the we? hell? Yeah, it's dead, like Elvis. Oh God, that's the original no. episode. Right. Right. Painted live. You know who that is? I do believe I do. Actually, he's an alternate. Uh, yeah. Painted live. That would be Dan. Dice Narciso. There we go. Let's go with our other alternates. Dice. Got three more to go. Come on. Who we got? One, two, tick, 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 tick. I do all the noises. I'm like a No! Michael Winslow. Okay. Trisha W S C H. The name below that was Slate Ham. Oh, yeah, that doesn't count. It's if any of us get hit, that doesn't matter. Very close to winning tonight. I like that. Then we didn't. Two more. He's not the two more. He's not the two more. I see what you did there. Two more. Let's do it. Who are our other alternates while we are banging them out? Jason, Jason Poloni. Poloni. Let's go, Baloney Poloni. P E L L O N I. That sounds like a little bit of Moore's Day song in the 80s. My Poloni wow, has her first. Baloney Poloni. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It's P E L L O N I. <clears throat> All right, spin that. Spin that magical our wheel. Last $100 alternate. No, hang on. We that got no, we got name. two more. Two more. We only got three so far. Josh Stokes. Joshua hey, Stokes. Hell yeah, hey, that's man. good, man. Is an alternate. That's a good answer. There we game. go. Appreciate you, Josh. And ringing in with the final alternate for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. Who we got? 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 These are our alternate. You know what? I We said when we entered all these people into the contest, all you had to do was be subscribed. Yeah. And there are several comics uh, throughout the, the United yeah. States who have their fans and their friends, and uh, that's Appreciate wild. Y'all. That's legit, man. So we got we got alternates there. Let me say hi to everybody in the chat who's still talking. Uh Oh, Joe Breda, old humble. We uh we do appreciate you. I don't know. You missed an episode the other day, but uh, I went out and bought another bottle of double oak because oh, we were out. Uh, and we love it. And he just mentioned that he forgot to bring our delivery today. You did, uh, but we're doing it anyway. Um, By the way, Joe, you're you're on this wheel. <laughs> indeed he is. So we're going to do uh, three alternates for the $500 price? Yes, sir. All right, let's get the uh, first one out. Those are the $100, and we got alternates Spin for them. Are <laughs> you guys kissing? What's happening? I can't see. It's peripheral. Don't worry about that. I just wanted us to get close. because I wasn't nervous. worried. I was curious. Jay, we should just fuck one episode. Just, just one time. Just, just, just one, one episode. <laughs> Make it, make it. And where the fuck are we going to hear that? The last episode. Twitch. OnlyFans. <laughs> do OnlyFans. It'll be our goodbye to Twitch. <laughs> Whiskey <laughs> Brothers <laughs> OnlyFans. Come on, dear. Bring that greasy old body on over here. Jamal Kelly. Jamal Kelly, our first alternate for hey, the $500 I know Jamal. prize. Appreciate you, Jamal. I know Jamal. Bam, bam, bam. The Duke Show on, uh, I believe we're at 8 o'clock. April 2nd. April 2nd. April 2nd. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, I think, is the time. Uh, Brothers. I'll get you that. But Outlaw Dave's going to be out there. He's doing a radio broadcast. Uh, we have a lot of things going on. It's going to be a uh, a very cool. Eddie Brito popping into the chat says who's hi. Who's closing? Sees uh, not me. Wait, I'm, going I'm going second. I'm going second. You going second? I'm okay. going second. Hey, who's open? Oh, this is interesting. Jerry's closing. I'm oh. going. Yeah, you don't want us with a bullet, special. baby. Sam, okay. me, you, Jerry. That's the Boom. lineup. Boom. Jerry's got to follow you, a you, bunch of N words. You want one or three? <laughs> three of us. You <laughs> want one or three? I'm thinking there's about three, okay, three of us. I already said it. Yeah, I'll follow. Uh, I'll take one. That's fine. Sam, okay. me, Leon, you, in. Jerry. It's I will, easy. I will, yeah, I follow Slade. All the N words. Leon in. Yeah, I'm going to use them all up for you. All right, well, I and trade them. Well, that's good because I'm not allowed to use them. Sam's so. going to get them and I'll pick up the slack. So the point is we got two more alternates. One, Leon in. Oh, Leon that's got to. I'm if, if that's Leon what. Leon Noseworthy. Leon, Leon in Noseworthy. is an alternate for the $500 prize. Say what's up to Chuck, Leon. The last draw. Yeah. Good luck to you because three people got to turn down this $500 for you to get it. But Four. I wish you the best. <laughs> It's a lot of people. Here we go. Tick, 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 tick. This is the last alternate. Sure, he's on her chest. Hundred dollar. Oh, no, Jesus. She's eligible. Be She's eligible in the in the in the. No way. Oh, the next name was Tony Knuckles, but it's Cameron Parnell. That would have sent that message out to Spain. Cameron Parnell, our third alternate. If you guys are. How do you get a nickname like Knuckles? You'd be whooping. I ass. mean, I can only think of one. There's way. a lot of sore vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> what did Ralphie used to say? Dry fingers make lesbians. 
That's solid. <laughs> yeah, he did. Rest in peace. Here's the thing. Uh, I did, anyway, uh, uh, try uh, figures, fake lesbians. Trust me on this, folks. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> ben Creed, yeah, Perfect 1000. We appreciate you. It's very good seeing all of you in the oh. chat. Uh, Kim, it's good to see you. Oh, there's so many of you guys that ben we Creed, haven't had a chance Ben Creed, you about to get to. a tattoo, son? Yeah, I'm drawing ben the Creed's shit. A bad dude. Man, I'm drawing cool. the shit out of black asthma. Believe me, that's going to be a superhero tattoo that you were unaware of you were getting until tonight. And uh, black asthma is so happening. 100%. Only play I ask that you put on it. Please. A giant ass. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I will have you proof it. There is t- there's the no ass, way that make black the ass, ass look like Jerry. Have. Get a, get an ass a beard. No ass. Get an ass a beard. No, no, no. That's not the point. It's a black <laughs> ass. Make the ass. Get an ass a beard and everything. Hey, before we go, I just want to uh, give props to uh, the guy who has done a lot of the heavy lifting on this fucking bullshit. Trey. Fucking no, Slay right, him, man. No, let's slay him over flowers. here. Um, we started out with four four dudes. We had one drop off, and every single person you picked to fill that seat fucking crushed it. Ashton. Owen Dunn, Big Ed, uh, Kiki Maroon, Dale Cheeseman, yeah. and then uh, I, I think I think it's Rob who picked you. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rob was the guy who brought you in, and then we both were like, "That stays." No. And then I remember when Rob said he was gonna hang it up. Slade called me and was like, "Hey man, Jay Wayne's back doing comedy." I was like, "Yes," and he goes, "You didn't know what I was gonna ask you yet." Yeah, what were you gonna ask me? You think you make a good fit with the Whiskey Brothers? Yeah, motherfucker, that's why I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, I, I, I've been really happy with the way this thing has worked out over 11 stupid, stupid, <sighs> stupid fucking years. <laughs> a thousand. You guys are some of my oldest friends, and Trey's my favorite new friend. So Thanks, God. Yeah, God. like it's, it's, and that's what, that's what I think people like about this is that, like, yo, this isn't just guys all trying to, like, promote their shit. This is four dudes sitting around talking who, uh, we wouldn't be doing this anyway. We if only you record like a listening. third of it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, and every time you we have a writing session, you're like, God damn, we should have recorded I, this. And every time we show up for the podcast, we start talking shit, and we're like, just turn the microphones on because we're we're losing there, shit. There's something to be said down the line to to opening the mics and the cameras to these folks to the stuff that's off air because it's. It's arguably more special than what uh, happened. The last writing session we did for Ido, we were was one of the greatest. So fucking hard. I was I was giggling so bad by the time we left. I didn't even want to host the show anymore. I was just like, "That's can we just write it?" Yeah. Uh, this show has been. I've, I've missed. I was only not in the room for one episode, and I hijacked it. And I I, I stole it and mm, got on you it. You anyway. put it out unedited. And yeah, I well, I mean, what was I gonna <laughs> fucking do the work too? I wasn't there. Um. But it's been it's been pretty magic, and the fact that we're sitting here a thousand episodes in, and Rob just left, but Chuck Savage is still here, and the cast that's sitting around this table, and Adam Taylor, and some of the stuff we've we've accomplished, and the the fans, Charita, you're here, along with uh, many 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 people in the Ginger chat. Ginger Chorus, thank you for everything. But, yeah. uh, the uh, Alamo, uh, I got my everything. painting the other day. Y'all the Larsons, thank you for everything. There's Big Kev, the I, I, Ophelia. There's there's so many Ben Creed. The Alamans we did an episode. Oh, sorry, so not the yeah, the, uh, all these all these weird little instances of communing and sharing time with people over eleven years uh, in various cities or houses or places or whatever. Mark Olson for letting me shoot your guns. We banged out that bear <laughs> killer in the in the desert. We've we've hung out with we y'all. That's really cool shit. All Hugo the, Mendez for Hugo we Hugo yelled, Mendez. The yelling, the yelling out ocean. Bieber in a port in a, a fucking uh, bar Lisbon in Moore. Portugal. Yes. Big Kev. The, Big Kev, Fuck uh, yeah, Big Kev. Kev. So many of you guys just along the way. It's uh, it's been an interesting ride and a and a very cool family. And I, I think if you're inside the Whiskey Brothers circle, you understand. And if you're not, I'm sorry. You sound like this shit is it, bro. I listen to the show on Monday. Be like, where's the table? Where's everything? You gonna be <laughs> knocking on the door at seven forty five tonight? This well, here's it. the thing. What we're I'd doing, have done that on what Sunday. What we're doing is what right. Hollywood does after movies is like. We're going to leave it to where there's a possibility for a sequel. <laughs> but if we cut it off, you'd be like, ah, that was in a case I'm not, In case I'm not here. <laughs> it's a, it's a, but the, the, the important thing is that the, 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 per, the, the oh, pressure no. of being on every episode for a thousand episodes was there. From, there was a point where you're like, well, I haven't missed one yet. Mm-hmm. Might as well. So getting to a thousand now, I'm like, if I was gone and y'all just did an episode, I don't think there'd be any tears. No. I'd be like, I did a thousand of a thing. Yeah, kick rocks. Yeah, you did, man. So yeah, that's sure. that's where we're at. To uh, I'm very thankful for y'all for bringing me on. 
<laughs> we're not <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, yeah, we, we are. fucking are. Y'all got I'm it. very staring, thankful. I've been staring at this whole yeah, fucking night. I don't understand. When I started, when I started doing comedy in Houston in 2004, February 10th, 2004, is my first night of comedy in Houston. God damn. And when I started doing comedy in 2004, the Whiskey Brothers was like a fraternity. Yeah. I wanted so bad to be a fucking part of it. And then I came back after years later and got to be a part you of it. You came through that wall like the Kool Aid Man, bro. <laughs> Damn, so did. Hey, uh, Gagoosh! You I here. Just, uh, I'm very thankful, man. I, I have enjoyed being a part of this, and I've enjoyed putting the work in. You sure you don't beat your wife? <laughs> <laughs> No, she's stronger than me. You opening that <laughs> bottle of air and nothing. Rachel whooped my ass if you I fucking raise a hand. Uh, you ain't cook shit. Go ahead, Sharita. The Sharita. Ed Blake episode where he was on a mission. Can we what? talk about the a mission for four roses? Oh, where he was on a mission when he hurt his God. foot. Remember when he hurt his foot? Secret agent oh, foot. Oh yeah. Can we talk about the amount of Stranahan's? Can we talk about the amount of Stranahan's that we have consumed <laughs> over? <laughs> Holy fuck, where'd that come from? Where's our fucking sponsor? That's as crooked as my dick, but it's beautiful. <laughs> oh here, let me think. <laughs> oh, it's wavy. God. Mine man. leans more to the right. This is a video, by the way. Oh, but that, I can Tricky fact. <laughs> Tricky <laughs> fact, your dick right curves your whichever way you jack off. <laughs> <laughs> if you're right-handed or left-handed, that Fun determines fact, your dick curve. We tied a dick facts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> Don't you lie to me, Trey Tuss. Chuck asked, who was the Strannies man? That was uh, that was our good friend, Rob Dietrich, who used to be the uh, head distiller over there. There's a poster on the wall, if you look at the one in the back of the studio. That Yeah, I do have a lightsaber, motherfuckers. That's a, uh, There's a signed bottle in here. Congratulations to our 100th I like episode how they question he has a lightsaber. You see all this Star Wars shit? We can do... Uh, I'm not doing it. Yeah. We got... So the... the there's Stormtrooper Legos over here. Some of these bottles are still made out to listen to the Whiskey Brothers podcast, April 3rd, 2011, signed by Show Stranahan. That the camera. Show it to the camera. You can put that up there. Back when they were still. Adam, which camera are we on? This, okay. was, the old, this was the old stuff. Uh, and now we're deep into their sherry finished casts from the province of Cadiz in Andalusia. I don't even want I'm not going to shoot this sherry finish because it's so much better to Be, just enjoy respectfully it drink sip it. it. Yeah, fuck that. Stranahan's I want amazing. this in my face as hard as it can go. Really? No, the, 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 nah, the, the, sherry, the, finish, the sherry finish, I like to just Do you not remember the, the first episode we had? I was holding it like a baby. Like, this is my I shit. like to enjoy every little bit of it. This sherry finish, no, Stranahan's, you just gotta shoot it is slow. the best Watch. whiskey I've ever had in my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm it's absolutely you. divine. I'll Cheers. put it up against Cheers, guys. fucking Cheers. anything. Cheers, my I don't... I don't know that these ca- I don't know that these can be m- melted down and forged into a sword, Ooh, but if they can, we will. Uh, <laughs> That's a real short one. Oh, uh, you know what? Shout content. out to votesoflord.com. Uh, Vaultsoflord. Our longest sponsor. Uh, Ever? Shouts out to Predicolous. Predicolous with the OG. <laughs> Go to Predicolous.com and tell me if that's still a website. Uh, they were the ori- they were, they sponsored episodes God twenty damn, through forty or so some shit uh, from the Banco Popular Studios. That's the best whiskey I ever had. Vaults oh, of Lore, I just call you Volume One by Vincent Sansbury. Uh, Chuck Savage, our dear musical director, and f- yes, Adam Taylor. Hey, bro, you can show me. Yeah, I'm into. Absolutely, <laughs> brother. <laughs> It's been hey. too long, and Slater, yes. we, oh, it's also been two hours. So to never. Yeah, let's just call okay. it. Let's just call it. This yeah, is uh. Right. This so here's, the deal, here's the deal. Here's the deal. So the girl at Hot Topic, she had to go up the ladder to get me this shirt, and uh, when she went up the ladder, cut it. <laughs> they don't want no problems. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.